And he kind of used that shit Eminem be used yeah. in that movie. He like talked about he talked about himself. He used that whole Her, approach. So nobody else so can nobody say else can say the shit about him. Yeah. Call him a bitch for me. Him and this height thing. Yeah, he used AI. Yeah, but he just wrote that verses. So you can hear you can hear it, right? Okay, because I was confused a little bit. It's not them in real life, no. Okay, I That's got you. That's what made this shit so hard. Like, yeah. that nigga used the AI. It's crazy. That shit kind of scary, though. Right. <laughs> okay, that explains the meme I saw earlier. Yeah, we're still... Like, what the fuck is that is? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's off limits in rap, though, but go ahead. Okay. You ready? <laughs> so 14, episode 14. You know the fucking vibes. Snoop J, Nigel. Guess who we got in the building? We got Ryan Gang, gang, brunch. gang. What's yeah. up, baby? Bow, bow, bow. Episode 14. I'm your bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nigel. Did too hard, bro. Super honored, man. Shout out, Nigel. Shout out, everybody here. Shout out, Unspoken. We in the A. Shout out to my boy G. That's what we drinking on G. Doritos. Make sure y'all get y'all some G. Doritos, man. Hit my boy up. <laughs> Talk your shit. All right, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Unspoken Atlanta. I'm your host, Nigel Armani. I'm your girl, Snook J. I'm the kid, BMX. Yeah, man. Welcome back, man. Episode 14. And today, man, we got, well, we got three special guests. We gonna, we, gonna, we, gonna, we, we gonna say two, but we got three special guests, man. Running brunches in the building. Polo, Ashley yeah, yeah. W. Uh, what up? What's happening? How y'all doing? Man, doing check, check. Y'all, How y'all week been going? Man, another good, beautiful man. We, day in Zamunda, man. We oh, yeah. ended it on Unspoken. Oh, yeah. Seemed like a good one to me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, shoot, how are everybody doing this week? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? I'm doing decent. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm doing good. Um, Ain't nothing really happened this week. Um, So, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm cool. I'm like a smooth eight gliding <laughs> through the week. Yeah. And the kids test this week, so... I'm sure it's gonna be a bit stressful, <laughs> but outside of that, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. BMX, how the week was, man? I'm Gucci, man. An- another week of saving lives. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Putting out little yeah. fires. Another week of saving lives. Um, yeah, good week, man. Had a good hike today. Hiked in the rain. It was it was all right. Oh, man, I missed the hike. It was all right. Yeah. yeah. It was like I said. You gave uh Big Bang a, a, a good gift this week. Yeah, yeah that was so that was sweet. It's crazy. Yeah, that was dope. Um, it's crazy because like usually when we hike, we always be deep, like at least fifty plus people, right? But this particular hike, it was just me, Dave, and Bank. We had rolled out like two hours out to Tallulah Gorge, and we was hiking and stuff. And of course, I always got the camera, so I just happened to catch this dope ass shot of Bank, of Dave helping Bank up up the gorge, and it just became monumental. Like after his passing, because that's what he always did was pull people up. He was actually pulling Bank up in the photo, and that's just the type of person Dave was for sure. So. It just came on your middle. I said, I got to blow this up and get it, my boy. Mm-hmm. And, he, right. and he cried, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He cried on sight. That shit was hard. Never wrong with some tears. What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, if you're an independent artist that's looking for a platform to showcase your skills, looking for an opportunity to shine, perform live from Unspoken Atlanta exclusive performances.
Um, we going we normally when we do episodes, we try to highlight uh entrepreneurship, people that's doing stuff in the community, uh black owned businesses. Uh sometimes we bring them on the show, sometimes we we find them and we just highlight them and just try to, you know, show what they got going on. Um right. so today's entrepreneurship highlight, we're gonna highlight two things. We're gonna highlight running brunch, but also wanted to highlight Juice ATL as well. Um Let's do it. with the running brunch. I guess all three y'all can really talk about this though. What was y'all vision behind it? How did it start? How did y'all figure out it was gonna be all three from the top down? Y'all vision for it? It started with Polo, so Polo. Yeah, that's a him question. Yeah, so <laughs> so I've been question. running for some years. A lot for a long time, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing a lot of running, start doing some marathons. But while you're getting ready for these races out here, training for these races, you you get with different run crews in Atlanta. And I used to always just admire, like, the run crews in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like we got a lot of dope, just even just in our community, in black community, it's a lot of runners, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. doing some amazing things. So I always used to just frequent all the different run crews in Atlanta, uh, and I used to, I used just to like the community, you know what I'm saying? People getting together, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, one day I'm gonna do that. Mm-hmm. So I used to always talk about it at the gym with BC man, and he'd just be like, man, stop talking about that shit and do it. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be like, man, I'm gonna do it next year. Right. It's a lot going like on BC. this year. And I'd be like, man, we should do that run crew. He was like, man, you gonna do it? You know what I'm saying? So shit, that's how it got started. We just started it, you know what I'm saying? I had to come up with the name Running Brunch, but that's kind of how it like really took, you know what I'm saying? Took life. And I remember the second one, I actually got a photo of this too, um, of me grabbing both of them like this and kind of whispering in their ear like, hey, I got this um, situation with this run thing and I want to put it together. I think y'all should do it with me. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's bring it together yeah. and like do it all together because I think it could be big. And um, my bad. And, <laughs> um, and yeah, and that's really how I got started, man. Like I told both of them about it. One day, we was getting ready for the weekend. BC was like, jumped in, started helping me. Ashley jumped in and helped me. And this was before, you know what I'm saying, I said that to them. And they were just there for the first two. Man, they showed up, helped put the whole shit together. So it's like, man, why well, might, man, we might as well just do it together. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. With, yeah, the, uh, with the brunch part, though, how did y'all, what, what made you come up with that idea to do something like that? That's, I mean, obviously it's different. No, y'all are probably the mm-hmm. first ones I've ever seen do something like that. So I know, <laughs> like, when I used to talk to BC about it, I used to tell him, like, man, I wanna do something different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna not just do a run, I wanna do, like, some real, like, I said, I told him what I noticed is, is a lot of times when you got these runners and they're training for races, when you're training for race, race you focus, right? Mm-hmm. So you're trying to keep your pace. You're trying to do all the things you need to do, you know what I'm saying, to be at a certain time in that race. So a lot of times the faster runners will go out, the slower runners will come back. Mm-hmm. And by the time the slower runners come back, everybody else having a beer and a burger or mm-hmm. something crazy, like, like they already across the street, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, having a drink or two. And I used to just be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I wanted to do something for the people that kind of got – left behind in that crew, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And just try to push, you know what I'm saying, those people, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. You know, as loop. So Ashley, in regards to is what what do you feel do you feel like, you know, a lot of times as women, we usually see things a little bit different when yeah. it comes to the business aspect that maybe some men may see don't see. So we kinda come in on the on the on the back end. Is there anything that you felt like needed a a touch or or uplift with running brunch. I think it was mainly just the detail. Ashley is the glue to this shit. It's the, uh, without <laughs> Ashley, it's the organization, yeah. the operations right. part of it. Right. Um. So meetings, so making mm-hmm. sure everybody's on. You know, has a has an invite for a meeting. Mm-hmm. Um. Make reminder. Hey, we got unspoken tonight or what mm-hmm. things like that is where I come into play. Gotcha. Trying to just make mm-hmm. sure that, like BZ said, every everything stays on point and is glued together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, she okay. the glue. Like. Cause me and Polo, we such creatives. Like we all creatives, but me and Polo mm-hmm. just yeah. such creatives that this is yeah, all we be focusing on. Mm-hmm. Be like, so like the business part and the small details, we be fucking up. Well, that, and that's that's a lot of the time. That's Big why time. women yeah. add yeah. that extra layer because there's things that can get missed mm-hmm. if you don't necessarily if it's like a male oriented business. Man, you know, right. if you have like one or two women behind you, they they'll catch the little the little pieces they get. They I get feel like dropped. anything you do in the life. With business, you you, you got to be a woman on the team. Yeah, for Man. sure. It has yeah. to be. For sure. <laughs> t- they keep that shit together. Yeah. <laughs> and like you said, though, detail, organ- organized, mm-hmm. yeah, we, we kind of bring that. So you need that. But I definitely see y'all. I need to come out there. I keep saying I'm yeah, coming. Well, that was about to be my question. Yeah, because I'll be seeing y'all. I'm just like, Look, She working shit. out every morning now. I so do. I do. But you know I what, do. though, I Ash? Do. That's exactly why we do what we do. Yeah. Because it's not about people that 
are running all that have, have been running for a while. Gotcha. We wanted to create the safe space for people who have Anybody. not run. Mm-hmm. Right. We want to get people off the couch. Right. A lot of times it's scary to join a big run crew yeah. or Intimidating. workout gang mm-hmm. come right. inside of a Absolutely. gym. Mm-hmm. Right. So we just wanted to create that space for that same reason. You know? Yeah. You and I, have I think that's so the thing because there is such a, there is a narrative a lot of times in, um, the gym culture or in the working out culture because it can be intimidating it's if it's something that you don't if you're not if you're not doing it as as often or as frequent as what you want to join. Right. So like when you see running, you know you like oh shit. And right. especially you look, yeah. if you, and especially if you look like us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, that, and, 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 and that's real because sometimes I used to get DMs, people DMing saying, "Man, I came up to the gym." It was, man, it looked amazing, but the people look amazing too. So I'm going to work out at the house first and get my together and then I'm going to come back. But I just need to have like a little bit of something Uh to flex because everybody up there looked like they've been, I'm like, bro, like them folks been in here working for years. You know what I'm saying? It took years to build that body. Yeah. That didn't happen overnight. Right. Right. So running brunch, sticking at the house ain't going to get it. Yeah. Yeah, That's that's where it's at. Yeah. 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 And on top of that, this is the brunch capital. For sure. Yeah, man, for sure. For so sure. that was so when, you, when you all yeah. finish, is brunch offered or what is or is it just like a is it just the the, the theme of No, we have we brunch. definitely we, we brunch. Is offered. Okay, we put so a whole like when you yeah, so when you're done, you, yeah. you get the mm-hmm. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's, Which got is cur- it's a whole event, you know what I'm saying? It's like a it's like a whole Do y'all do the same vendor each um run or is it different vendors in Atlanta that we y'all switch get? it up? Good. Yeah, we switch yes, it up. We switch good. It up. Good. Good. Shout Talk out to Chef good. Nikki though. We do a lot yeah, of stuff with Chef uh Nick. Chef Nikki in the mix and those fat ass cakes, but gotcha. Yeah, we mix it up. For is sure. it usually healthy? Bro? Yes. So speaking on that, also because me and Polo are elite I'm a twelve years vegan. Where are you in now? I'm like 16, 17 years. Yeah, so since mm. we both vegan, like we try to push that narrative too. Like, so all our food is usually vegan. Okay. Like we don't, you know what I'm saying? We try it's to push so, that. But it's good vegan food though. So yeah. I'm not vegan and it's busting. So <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like right. the people oh, that are not vegan, you can come test. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's yeah. really dope. Yeah. They walking around. Is this vegan for real? Yeah, you can't Is this tell. vegan for real? <laughs> like, oh, that's yes. dope. Um, okay, so with the, I want to switch. To the juice ATL. So when I've been seeing you uh for I've been knowing you honestly for like at least seven years at this point. Mm. Um and so when I used to go work out with BC at PT Cross Training, you know, mm-hmm. you selling the selling the juice ATL. Yeah, yeah. And put me on that. Um what was your vision behind that? Um and it's kinda hard, like I don't well, is it hard coming with coming up with a juice beverage mm. um in itself, but also your vision behind starting that. So the majority of my life I spent in the music industry. Music industry fast. You moving around a lot, eating a lot of crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, got to a point where I kind of got out of shape, not doing well, ended up in like some heart trouble, had some heart problems just because of like smoking too much, drinking. I used to be smoking Newports and, you know, just that studio life, you know what I'm saying? And that travel life, you know what I'm saying? So, man, I just kind of got out of shape, overweight, Ended up like in the hospital. I got out the hospital. I started making smoothies, juices, just kind of like trying to heal myself because they wanted me to be on these pills. And I was like, nah, I really ain't not with yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of got into juice and I got into fasting more than anything. And I just taught myself how to like fast and clean my body out. And one day, man, just making those juices and coming up with them combinations, I wanted to teach people that. It was this website a while back called, um, it might still be around, meetup.com. Mm-hmm. And I used to do these meetups at my homie's barbershop and let people come in there. And I used to teach them how to juice. And this girl was like, now I was still heavy in the studio too. And this girl was just like, man, if you make that for me, I'll buy it from you. And I was like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> Light bulb. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Right. That's it. So that's where it came from. And I slowly started kind of moving out of the studio world. And as the juice thing picked up, I kind of moved a little bit more because I was kind of burnt out too with music and just mm-hmm. being out all the time, club all the time, travel all the time. I kind of burnt myself out with that. So it was kind of like I could, you know what I'm saying, just switch mm-hmm. over to something else. And I just kind of slowly jumped more and more into juice. And then when people were like, oh, this is amazing. Or, oh, my God. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like my life, you know, changing people's lives with that and just giving them that information and teaching, I kind of lean more into that. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I just like Helping people, you know what I'm saying? So For the people that don't know that never had juice at TL, you can tell them what all you make or? Man, so we do like a variety of green juices, root juices, and fruit juices. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it could be all green juices. It could be some greens and fruits mixed because 
you're not supposed to mix all fruits and all greens together. Mm-hmm. So we just do a variety of like fruits and we don't use no added waters unless we make lemonades. But other than that, it's just the fruits and the vegetables. You know what I'm saying? So okay, know. okay. That's so that's how that got started, man. I see you. Um, and now, well, I do got another question. I'm sorry. Uh, I know you were saying you not you, you're not selling, I guess, to the public. You, we slowed that down. Yeah. Um, but as far as like. I know you still selling them, though. You still yeah, yeah. Well, I just actually started back. Um, I had another incident, ended up in the hospital, had a mm-hmm. brain aneurysm, right? So I had, I really had to, like, shut down the whole shop for a minute. Mm-hmm. But I had some dope clients before I went in, you know what I'm saying? And some of those clients are, like, Atlanta Braves and that kind of, like, uh, another company called Hiscox, like a big insurance company. Uh, I did I fill up Revolt's refrigerators, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, just a bunch of different companies, you know what I'm saying? But the Braves called and asked, was I ready to get back to work? So I've been out, you know what I'm saying, like, rebuilding, rehealing. So I, I picked that gig back up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to slowly but surely just, you know what I'm saying, just making sure my health is first, you know what I'm saying, yeah. before I just jump all the way back in and take all the clientele. But they definitely been... I got a DM today, like, yo, what's up? Can I get some juice? Can yeah. I get back on my subscription? I'm like, nah, not facts. yet. That juice got crack in it, boy. <laughs> not yeah. yet. I see, I see, like, I, honestly, bro, I, I don't know if you thought about, ven- like, juice ATL vending machines. So we talked about that a couple times. That's yeah, a, we a talked dope. about it. Yeah. And, um, but you know, the only thing is, like, we make our shit, like, one, it's like 100% like juice. You so know it don't last that so long. It's the it's the mm. time. So like, so you man, I've be, had you opportunity to, to be in stored. Quick. Right, yeah. right. And I've had opportunities to be in stores Even and all kind cold? of stuff, man. Yeah, Even but I haven't. No. Nah. So it's like, for bad. instance, you buying a juice out of storage, it's a process called HPP where they still kind of like uh, pasteurize it. Mm-hmm. And I've had opportunities to be in hella stores. I just didn't do it because I didn't want to take away from the quality. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So... It's and, just and see that's the thing man, about I had a couple selling things where I could have sold juice ATL a couple times, but I didn't mm. do it because I didn't want to compromise the quality of the juice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. But you know what I'm saying? It, you know, I don't know. But that's the thing about real, real food, thing. right? Right, right, right. So real food, it's not gonna last that long because it's, the, it's no preservatives. It's not pasteurized. There's no extra shit added to it. Mm-hmm. So the shelf life is not gonna be that long. You, you cutting? Yeah, you talk, you good. You talk. I'm throw, I'm throw it off. I'm about to tell you, <laughs> throw it off. No, you're right though. You're right. He throwing me off. Throw it off. He would have not known what you were doing. <laughs> you not did that. I was trying. Yeah, I was. I was. I did like this. Like keep going. You do. Sorry. You say you throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did this. I was like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, keep going. Like, this keep big going. ass nigga in my face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? And rolling at you. Hold <laughs> on a minute. Because she told me. She, 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 she put the hand. I said, I got you. Yeah. But now, nah, that's just, I mean, thing. that's just why he can't, you know, sell it the way you're talking about, like his vending machines and stuff, because it's not going to last that long. Like, when you buy real real food and shit, you got to drink that shit right now. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and because we got the fridge. big industrial juicer, you know what I'm saying? Ours will last at least up to seven to eight days. Certain things, you know, we put lemons or limes in. Lemons and limes are like natural preservatives for food, so those things will last a little bit longer. But, yeah, you know, like BC said, like, it's real food, so you got to, like, if you want the nutrients from it, if you want it to have those healing properties for your body, then you got to like get Drink to it. it. Let's exactly. give him a few gems, Polo. Give give him a few natural preservatives. If you want your healthy food to last longer. Lemon, limes. What can you do? Yeah, lemons and limes, yeah. Honey? So you can use honey, yeah. Honey is dope, yeah. I, I'll use, I've i used honey before, but I, I use lemon and lime for a lot depend of on, It's depending on what you're making. Man, depending on what like you're me making. for my sea moss, I put honey in it and make yeah, it last yeah. a little bit longer too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So depending on what you're making. And I put lemon mm. or lime in my sea moss, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to, for that reason too, to make it last a little bit longer, yeah. We do got a lot going on with that, dog. What is happening? What the fuck is going on? It's a little chaotic. It's a little chaotic. We have to educate right now. That's the devil. Like, no, don't tell them. Don't tell them. Right, don't right. give them the information. No. I need I'm everybody a- to come with me. Right. <laughs> I do want to keep it on the on the health thing. I know you said. Well, I know you try to give them a couple of health tips. Um, if you have any, but both of y'all know because uh, right. actually you're a trainer as well. But um, any health tips y'all can give out to people that kind of help them throughout the week. They kind of keep their energy up high. Rest. Yeah. Number one. I mean, that's exactly what I was going to say. Make sure you're getting your sleep. Rest. A lot of times we be grinding in the gym, going hard, but your rest, your sleep is just as important for your results and to stay healthy as the workout. Right. 
and you're eating. So right. make sure that you're resting because your body can't recover, nor can your muscles grow unless you're unless you sleep, unless right. you rest. Super rest. I think um, in the industry where Ashley, same way, she come from a, a music background. But he's come from a music background, and the information you get in there from the from the OGs is like. You got to go hard. You got to work every day. You know what I'm saying? Like No time no off. No time yeah. off. You know what I'm saying? No days yeah. off. Sleep is for suckers. Like, mm -hmm. sleep is... That's lame. That shit was a brand. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. Huh? <laughs> that shit was an actual brand before. That's no, a, yeah. That's that's a, a, yeah, no, ain't no name. disrespect to old boy. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't mean to call it the, the, the brand lame, but that's just like... Nah, man. Nah, that, nah, that shit lame. Yeah, but that shit is not cool, though. Sleep is for suckers. Niggas is dying. Niggas is dying because they're not getting rest. Right. So, yeah, people are dying. Like, I almost died from not getting enough rest you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying like I was in the hospital almost a month laying on my Ooh. back because I didn't get enough rest so you right BC and so get what me as a real brother I still be on you because you yeah. you you slick be kind of falling back into that shit hey. yeah. so That's every day I'll be like bro whoa, whoa did you eat today did you eat did you, yep, whoa, yep. What'd you I'm, yep. I'm trying to make sure because yeah, he be on me. It's easy yeah. to fall back into that same shit. You know that what I mean? Same routine. Yeah, 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 exactly. And that's what it was for. And it be like, and you be making that money. You know that money be coming. Mm, it's you the know? money. Mm -hmm. You just be like, oh, okay. It's like it right. get really difficult <laughs> okay. as an entrepreneur because you're chasing the money. You're thinking, oh my brand. If I if I don't do this today, Someone then somebody else can't. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you just gotta make sure to slow down. Just be like, you rest. wish it was more so hours I would say in the rest. day. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Just a few. Exactly. Yeah. Just, just few. maybe like three like, more hours yeah. or so. Yeah. So number one, I would say rest. Another big one for me is like cleaning your body out, man. You gotta clean that temple out from time to time. Like if you've been, Jackson. everybody in here is probably anywhere from like. 20s, late 20s, early 30s, 40s, mm -hmm. whatever, right? Now imagine living all that time and you never gave your your digestion a break. Mm -hmm. 30 years and you ain't never oh. stopped eating not one time. Mm -hmm. Think about that, man. <laughs> Think about that skin inside of there, that mm -hmm. thin layer of skin that things have to move through, ripping and tearing. Oh, you got to like, mm -hmm. and half of us, we don't chew our food up good, so we got mm -hmm. these big old chunks of like, mm -hmm. man. What I say, Kim? Everybody's trying to break it what down. What I tell you, Kim, about that chewing? Chew your food up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh my goodness. We don't drink enough but now, water. Like it's it's so. But go ahead, be some. Now I want to tap on that chewing shit. Like that's yeah. a that's a thing that people don't realize is very very important. Right. Because that's the you're, first step of your digest, uh, digestion is chewing. You got to break your food down to the, the smallest the molecules possible. All right. So it'll be easy to, to digest. Thirty two chews, baby. Yeah, that's why people have. <laughs> and a lot of times, right? People, um, you can do all the working out, all the cardio, right? And if you, people still have guts, and you know why? Because they be swallowing their food unchewed yeah. or not chewed enough, right? And that causes Can't gas, it causes down. bloating. Because we in that fast world, mm -hmm. everything in a rush. We got to eat fast, got to get mm -hmm. to the next thing, get over here, got to go do that, do mm -hmm. this, do that. You know what I'm saying? We we be we moving too much. We like rushing and Slow down. we don't take no breaks, bro. I got and a secret. If you want a flat stomach, people. if you want a flat stomach, chew your food. Chew your food. I That's promise you. I promise you. That's a fact. This is real shit up. now. All right. Chew your food if you want a flat stomach. Y'all, you gotta understand, man. Eating all that food and then just chewing a few bites and then swallowing because we in the rush. We eating in the car. We going yep. to the next spot. Mm -hmm. Going to the next spot. And, and speaking of eating in the car, not to cut your wisdom. Go ahead. But, but eating in the car, you know what I'm saying? And move like when you eating, you supposed to be sitting down somewhere, relaxed, relax. body relaxed. Body body should not be in the car tensed up. Like mm -hmm. that's gonna fuck up your whole digestion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You're supposed to be somewhere sitting at peace, like chilling, so your food can digest the way it needs to digest as well, too. And your food takes time to digest. If I cut you open and pull your pull your intestines out, bro, I can stretch that joint from here. It's probably damn near to the other wall in there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, So you got to get that food chopped down the right way, and it's got to be water coming in through there. Like, we're going to go hard on science and... <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into <laughs> no, like the no, whole digestive thing, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy. So, go crazy, like, kid. Going with this shit. But I just be trying to get like, bro, I got a saying too, and I was going to put this on the shirt. I said, if if, if we were see-through, people wouldn't eat the way they do. Facts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I was going to make, so don't take my idea. I was going to do a t-shirt <laughs> with a camera. <laughs> but if people, for real though, if people would could see how that food, mm. how that milk, how that cheese, mm. how that shit uh, moving like through a, your body. Mm -hmm. And how some of it don't be moving through your body. Mm -hmm. That's why that gas smell the way it do and that fucking breath smell the way it do. Because that shit ain't even really moving through your system. That's right. <laughs> okay. Repeat the question before you answer. But yeah. eating slower helps with the stomach's process of actually breaking down the food. Facts. Like I said, the first 
step of digestion is the chewing part. So that's where all the saliva, all the enzymes and everything that are going to break down the food happen Uh in order to take it down. So slowing it down will help. But Polo kind of touched on that a little bit because it can be difficult when you're in the matrix of grinding. You're doing everything so fast. So Not saying I don't do it. And even doing it, I know it's terrible. We all do. was the one I was like, oh, you're right. Because everybody's always damn near in fight or flight Mm -hmm. but you have to just be conscious of slowing down just a little bit Mm -hmm. so just in life you don't have to become obsessive with your two number (laughs) i heard a few numbers thrown out 32 baby still try to just be conscious of (laughs) each bite and chewing that slowing it down he got on me for he's like damn ashley you you finished that already i'm like yeah man i'm hungry yesterday dude had a whole chick-fil-a sandwich he handed me my I, I tried to open the wrapper. Literally, I feel like I put my little sauce on it, put the put the bread back on. I turned around. He was done. <laughs> <laughs> that man track. was hungry. I was like, bro, you you done already? What is stomach? Like, got a gut? Oh, but he, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah, a yeah, bit. He I'm got sure a gut. he do. He was just like, I ain't eat breakfast this morning. You know, you know how it go. I eat this morning, bro. I'm hungry. I'm like, damn, bro. I was like, second, it's bro. like she just said too. You, if you slow down your eating. You probably wouldn't even be able to finish that sandwich if you was eating it with some yeah. fries and some other mm-hmm. things and taking sips of drinks. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And that also too, like the fast food industry is some bullshit because how they be setting us up with these cold drinks, drinking mm-hmm. cold. If you go like you, you rock with any like Asian people, you go into their house, you see how they mamas and and they how many their grandmamas how the how the grandmamas eat and they like drink that hot tea before they eat to get the gut ready and then after they finish eating, they drink more of that hot tea. We drink. Cold iced tea, that food be doing this going through your gut, yeah. just moving mm. slow, taking mm. forever to digest because you didn't put all that them ice cold drinks on there. Another thing so, I was gonna say to help you stay full, your digestion is complex. Um, drink a glass of water before you eat because a lot of times you're not as hungry, hungry. as you think right. you think are. You are. Yep. Um, and then sometimes you might feel hungry, and if you j- grab a bottle of water, you drink a little bit of water, you're like, oh, I wasn't no, 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 really hungry. Just playing. Well, let's I was just yeah, dehydrated. Just water, right. <laughs> right. I was say, let's just work on drinking water, more more, more water, period. How much yeah. you had today, Nigel? I had, I had one bottle of water today. Like a big ball, like BC's no, ball? No, no, like, like a 16 like, ounce. Like ah. a 16 ounce just <laughs> throughout the day while I was This nigga don't drink water. This nigga drink simply lemonade. I drink some lemonade. But you know what, though? I kinda, I'm kind of slowing down on that, too, though, because lemonade. people not told me that, you know, drinking a lot of, like, well, simply for one, um, slows down, like, if you're trying to, like, lose yourself. Sugar. Man, that shit sugar. got so much sugar. Have you seen how much sugar in that shit? Sugar. Yeah. 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 But I don't like drinking soda, so I'll be like, if I if I'm gonna drink something outside of water, it's gonna be like juice or simply or some shit. Right, like that. right. Obviously, the, the, so look, if you wanna if you that, wanna juice with your drink, why don't you go go to Kroger or uh, Publix and get you a nice tasting cold pressed drink? No. Mm-hmm. Or you can, or that juice ATL. You know what I'm saying? Oh, juice ATL. I'm boy, get you right. Yeah, yeah. You got open up the subscriptions, dog. I got you. We are gonna get it back cracking in a minute. We got another question. What's up, Tope? If you're not horny, you're not horny, horny, you're not healthy. Yeah, I, I, I can mean, agree with that. I know, especially in men. Um, if you're not horny, you're not healthy for sure. Because when you eat, when you put the right shit in your body, you're increasing the blood flow to the penis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. So if you when you eat bullshit and processed foods, it slows down your blood flow. It, it clogs your arteries. Right. It slows down your blood flow to your penis. That's how we get hard. That's why niggas can't go rounds because they unhealthy. They can't get up again because ain't no blood flowing to the dick. Right. Mm. No diddy. That blood too thick. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. Just I wish. No diddy. No. <laughs> but no, no, no. I'm telling you, bro. Eat, eat more fruits and vegetables and watch how many time. Watch how many rounds you get your lady. Mm-hmm. I promise you. Yeah, you just you just missing a lot of stuff. He right though, man. I mean, I think that can fall on a mental scale too. Um, Turn your zinc up, fellas. Not, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, and, that's and that's good. What, that's that, a jewel. I got yeah. another jewel after you. Go ahead. Um, I guess when she asked the question, my first my first thought went straight to the mental over the physical. Mm. Is that if I'm not horny, I'm not healthy mentally. It's both of them. I've got too much going on. Mm-hmm. I need to kind of slow down a little bit, which could also still fall into your food because the way they slaughter the food. Mm. Right. You know, all those emotions. Think about it. That anxiety, depression, everybody is talking mm-hmm. about. That comes from, from the foods that you eat. Mm-hmm. So you're right about that. Another thing I won't add to that is uh, watching too much pornography. Yes, It'll I can't say that because I jack my dick the same day that my girl pull up and I beat her back out. <laughs> but it's like 
people that watch it like people who watching that shit. I don't know what I'm saying. That's that's mental because like when you watching porn all the time, you it's, become be hard. It, 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 yeah, it's hard to get erections or like to get hard. Yeah, because like, you just had fried chicken and mac and cheese. That too though. It's probably a bit she might just don't turn you on. Nigga, like hey look, that, bro. watch porn and have your acai so bowl, nigga. So she must don't turn happened. you on like that. Acai <laughs> bowl. I'm gonna repeat that. Watch some porn and have you on the side. How you say it? Acai. Acai bowl. <laughs> and see what happens. Or some sea moss. <laughs> or some right, sea moss. Some so, y'all don't, so y'all don't feel like, like too much porn. Nigga, or, can fuck up I watch a lot of porn life. and I have a lot of sex. Okay. This shit ain't okay. stopping that. No I question. think what you're talking about Gash. though, Nigel, is more of a because porn can kind of, it gets really kinky. <laughs> right? It's not normal sex. Right. Let's be honest about mm-hmm. that. Porn is not normal sex. That's when. You know what I'm saying? Most times you have wild sex, but it ain't. It ain't like that. Yeah, yeah, nine times out of ten. So I think with when men are watching, or women honestly are watching a lot of porn, you become desensitized to what normal sex is. You yeah. start expecting That's real, a lot of wild <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, you do have to have a healthy relationship. It's about having a healthy relationship with porn. You don't a necessarily healthy, have to dose. stop watching yeah. it, but just make sure you keep a healthy relationship. With or it. having a girl that you can be like, "Hey, babe, let's try this." Right, uh, and she yeah. with the shit. You might have an open partner that's down. Right. Like, let's do it. But somebody else might look at you and be like, "Sir, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Not doing that." Yeah, you got a point though. Yeah, yeah. true. So, I got you. Um, but to answer the question, yes, health, sex, got to be healthy to have health, great sex. Yeah. To me, and a healthy, ba- a healthy balance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I had to get off the leash. I had to get off the leash. He got dealt by the gangs, he paid his side I've been rolling out, keep my eyes wide <laughs> Alright, hot spots in Atlanta, y'all I spoke in Atlanta hot spots um, I don't know if y'all got any this week Hot spots for y'all don't know uh, hot, hot, Unspoken Atlanta hot spots is just places that y'all are part of the been to Probably the first time or or anything that y'all want to like recommend people to go to to hang out, socialize, whatever, whatever. I ain't been hanging out and socialize. It could be anything. Like, it, 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 it don't necessarily got to be like some gym. cool vibes. Yeah. Planta. Yeah, we talked I about that. About I had planted planted. twice last I already, week. I already put that out there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, to tell what's you the name of the spot that we hosted the last run of brunch at at East Point? Oh, that's Util- Atlanta, 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 Atlanta Utility Works. Utility Works. Utility yeah, Atlanta Works. Utility Works. They do. Okay. Um, it's, they have like beer brewing and stuff like that. So if you're into beers, mm-hmm. different craft beers. Um, the night before, she said she had like a nine hour party, so they book mm. out. So this is it's a spot that you can check out events mm. and see mm-hmm. what they got going on. They have a different vendors that set up out there. That's up the street for me. Yeah, that's not dope. too far south oh, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say I don't got necessarily a, a spot. Well, I was gonna say it for people who didn't know. Um, Finn and Feathers on Edgewood, it's not, it, they have a new location. They're still on Edgewood, but they're across the street for people that didn't know. Um, they got a bigger spot. So they're like right next to, they're in between Harold's and uh, Ew, Slush. I, and what's the I other hate one? that pissy ass side <laughs> of the road. It's Slush. so pissy over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're over is, there. So they got, a, pretty they got a bigger <laughs> spot. Um, I went there last week thinking they were still over there. I'm like, that shit, like, it's dead over there. I want It was locked. I looked across the street. I just seen the whole thing, like uh, Grand opening new new fin and feathers. I was like, oh, "All right, cool." I went in there. It's a vibe. It got two little, you know, the, the original one was kind of small for people mm. who don't win the fin and feathers. Well, that made it a that now, made it now a it's bigger. So now they got it's More two space. different. It's, it's two different sides. Like they got a side where you can sit, and then they got like a bar. It looked the same. It's just bigger. Mm. But it's a uh, it was it was a smart move for the people that's into being on Edgewood. I don't know. I don't be on Edgewood like that. Okay. If I go to Edgewood, I'm probably going to Feather Feathers. But right around the corner from there, after we left the funeral the other day, remember we went to that that spot, bro? Or the vegan spot? You got to go there. Bro. What's the name of it? Bro, they made this strawberry juice. <laughs> oh, my God. You What's the name of it, Polizzi? I can't remember. That's terrible. Didn't I send you go to Go to our text. You sent me the... Damn it, no, man. you keep going. Oh, another it's thing amazing, too. bro. Why, why, why you figured it out? Why you figured it out? I got one more thing. Um, not a hot spot, but we just found out that um, what's what's the spot? This burned down. 
That fire? That fire, that fire jerk burned down yesterday. Oh, oh damn. Um, um, the Jamaican oh, spot. On, on, on North, North Side. Side that's, a, that's a legendary spot. That spot been there forever. Yeah, yeah. It is. I was, I was sad to see that one go down. down. Yeah. Like yeah. Bro, right by that shit. And they were already, like, My they, were never right in a, they were never in a building. They were, like, in a hut. Yeah, um, and, it, so and it had a lean to it, too. It did. It didn't look promising for a while. No So maybe what you say is they should have known. But, you know, they were, they had, one on Camp Creek, um, but <laughs> the way that their location of where they were, it just was set up weird. Yeah. Like right, nobody right, go. Right. Like if you're if you don't live in the area, you wouldn't you know, wouldn't know it was no. over there. So they probably gonna go back to that spot because they just closed it down like top of this year. So they gonna rebuild that too because I'm sure like yeah yeah. Hold on, that's, that spot is La Samilla. Yo, La Samilla, bro. Let me tell you, La Samilla. Everybody need to go there, bro. It's vegan. It's it's like on some planter vibe. It's smaller. It's a husband and wife vibe. This like they they did that with that food. Where that where food. is it located? It's um right around the street from where you were talking about off of edge. It's um like in the Krog right there by oh, Krog, Krog Street. Street. Yeah, okay. Krog Street. I'm okay. going fire. So I got a spot. Um. So this is a dope spot that's, that, that's been open in Atlanta for a while, but they closed down. Mm. And then it's black on. Then he just popped back on the scene. Yeah. And it goes by the name of Copper Cove. Oh, oh yeah. Shout out to my nigga Ruggs, man, Mr. Ruggs. Like he opened it right on back yeah, up. Yeah, Ruggs just opened right. um, Copper shit. Cove back up. Um, blessing us is right by the gym. So we, we just walk right walk around the corner. Yeah, right, it? right. But yeah, Copper Cove back up, man. It's a dope-ass spot. Little lounge, bar spot. Uh, the food dope, um, drinks dope. The vibe is the ambiance. I lo- I really love the ambiance. Like the mm. artwork he ha- he puts in his spots is mm-hmm. always dope. Yeah. Always. The art is always dope, always bro. Always vibe. Yeah. yeah. But, it's always had some nice venues though. Yeah. Every spot rugs opens up is it? Man, the art. Right. I yeah. always yeah. be looking at the art like this shit is crazy. Like yeah. The shit he got now, like he got art in there now with like um neon lights attached to it, and it's yeah. just it's so dope. It's crazy. Bro. It's yeah. dope. The vibe dope, y'all. Yeah, Go fuck with Copper Cove if you don't I know about it. But anybody from Atlanta probably already know what's up. Right. That's a fact. Definitely hit up Copper Cove. I need. I'm probably gonna go this week. I slick should have went. That should have been the vibe to go watch the fight last night. Honestly, mm. yeah, Copper so, so talk to me about the fight. It was great. We could talk about that first. Honestly, we got man. We, we kind of. I didn't know if that was one of the topics. Kinda, I'm sorry. Uh, Devin, went, Devin, went Devin. Than I thought we Devin, went, so. Devin, Devin. <laughs> I saw some highlights. What huh? happened? I, we watched the actual yeah. fight. Yeah. Damn. Was... Y'all want to talk about that? For we can talk about that. What's yes. Y'all, what's your thoughts on the? Uh, <laughs> All I saw was some. You know what I'm but saying? you know what's crazy though. So people are like upset because I'm, they saying that Garcia wasn't taking shit serious, but he beat his ass though. Oh, he definitely because, did because he. I think he drunk. I, I think he came in overweight. Yes, three pounds. Three pounds so because pounds. of that. That disqualified him from getting a belt. Right. One and then when he did the weigh in, he was drinking beer. So that like people was like feeling like he wasn't taking it serious, crap serious. Which is probably where that three pounds came from. And probably. I feel like that was probably uh, publicity. Like he was doing all. You know purpose. what he did? But I, don't, I think, but I don't feel like that was smart though. No. What was it? What was Garcia's fight before that? I think, uh, what, tank was, was it Tank? And, and both, what happened? Both, both of them was Tank. Tank. And what happened? Well, no, no, no. I take it back. You're right. Yeah, he was on one. He lost. Yeah, right. Tank put it down. So I think it's some of that attitude coming across. Mm-hmm. Like he lost. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah. Oh, y'all want me to but, fight this but you, guy? But you still got to be smart with that, though. Because you can't lose the belt. You can't. Right. He took a chance. Yeah. But he won. Though. Yeah, so what y'all don't know, that man Ryan Garcia is actually smart. Super. Go ahead. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> you know it's what my he favorite did? part. <laughs> Playing Tell crazy? Me. Yeah, of course. Do you know why he played crazy? He played crazy because he put a max bet on himself. So he left with an extra $2 million. Oh, that's why he was so cool with losing. Yes. That losing uh, million. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, he put a max bet on himself, and he played crazy. So people think he ain't taking it serious. Oh, he finna get beat up. Uh-huh. So the people, so the and he's been conditioning, and exactly. Hey, no, you saw how he was moving through those rounds last night. What? Oh, he was he was ready. Yes, that's crazy. I'm like, so but, mad. I missed the great food, fight. Like, uh, educated yeah. with boxing, like it's it's strategy to it. Like like he was saying, like sometimes he might feel like um, to sell the fight, he got to act like something wrong with him, or he got an issue, mm. or. He ain't really taking it serious instead of the fight, but in reality, he was really dead ass serious about it. Cause everybody was really picking Haney to win this fight. I had that. Haney shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, what you had Haney because he's black, or you had Haney because you I felt th- like I, he can win. I thought he was a better fighter. I did. Yeah. Okay. 
You know, some people, I, I ain't gonna care about, I, I, be, I be picking people because they black all the time. Just, 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 <laughs> just, 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 to, just to be on our side. Like, I'm gonna fuck with him, like, yeah. He said, fuck how much you experience know, he got. I, I'm and, just saying, like, in mo- in like, especially in fights, like, I'm always going for the Mayweathers, the Tanks. And yeah. People that I'm familiar with, like, I ain't familiar with too many Latinos. And you gotta fighters understand, like mm-hmm. that. Like, Haney never lost a fight, right? That was his like, first loss. Defeated, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the only exactly. loss that, that what's gonna have was Tanks. So, Technically, they both are slick, kind of undefeated. So, yeah, like a tank, right. that shit don't count. That nigga just ain't losing. <laughs> he's he's that, different. Nigga, <laughs> right. that nigga but, different. But right. Haney wanted that to be his next fight. He it ain't going to be a good fight. No. Not he now. Tank to be his next fight. No. Hell no. It would if he would have won. If he would have won, 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 that probably would be his right. next fight. But you lost. So, so yeah, but do he's you not. Think, tank ain't entertaining that. Do you think if Haney was in the same space, not losing his weight like he needed to? Because three pounds is a lot. So it, it when you come nah, when it comes boy, to boxing, boy, so do you think Garcia that, was just way more conditioned? But I feel period. like that's another reason because he said that he was like, I'm not gonna dehydrate myself to get into a smaller space and lose. Mm. So I, I'm think I'm wondering if Haney didn't dehydrate as much as he did, would he have a little bit more? He say he don't have. Mm. They say that he doesn't have too much. I don't power like to put that on punch, black people, but, but I feel like we have like a, a a sense of arrogance and like. Entitlement to not take that extra step to do what we got to do to kind of like prepare ourselves. Mm-hmm. I think Haney knew what's up though. I think the person that looks crazy right now is Haney's father mm. with all Why? the talking that he did. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think the dads are you know kind of did because mm-hmm. these boys are friends. Let's real, let's let's understand that they're cool, they've been fighting each other since they were kids. Yeah, so, this is not, yeah, they're yeah. you know what I mean. This is not, he's fought Garcia six times already. They, they, that's a lot of things people don't know. Like, a lot of people, be, they be sparring yeah. a lot yeah. of the time. So they don't right. know that they be thinking it's their first time fighting each other. No, we've been fighting each other behind the scenes without a camera for a while. Like, I know uh, Tank fought Haney and a couple other people, like, at training for a whole other fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you be familiar with these people all the time because it's just like playing AAU. Yeah. You're playing with these people in the summer. Yeah, yeah. Now we, now we in college and yeah. y'all on the opposite team. Like, it's Absolutely. the same thing. Like, But they don't know all the battles we don't, we don't have this whole summer. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Y'all think it's our first meetup. But we, we, so I've been, I know his Most tendencies. sports are like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know his tendencies. I know what he's going to do. I know what he's not going to do. It's just that now, today, it's, on, it's, it's in the spotlight mm-hmm. type shit. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do think like uh, Garcia had like wonderful mark, genius marketing tactics this, yeah. before this whole fight. Seriously, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I because think about next, people were able to play. Another thing is he played on people's emotions. I caught myself wanting him to win because I saw everything that he was fucking going through mentally mm. on Instagram. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope this boy win. Mm. It's mm. A, it's more people like me out, here, you know, mm. that kind of played on that that piece too. Mm. So good for him. Mm. What's that's right. what's up, right? Your thoughts on the Tyler May freestyle? What you think? Ash, you just listen to it? Um, I think it was decent. I'm kind of over the. I don't know. I just really wish that we would get back to like real. But this is real hip hop, though. Real, not really. Why you mm. why, 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 I mean, it's why not you giving that? me Tupac and, and Biggie and well, no, no, and no. Ice Cube and yeah, you can like that. that's that's what I want. But no, no, no. I want to I want to fast forward to something. So, um. The, the Chris Brown and Quavo thing, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of people, a lot of women are upset, or people, a lot of people are upset because they feel like Chris Brown went too too far. What's too far? Bringing up takeoff. Wish and death on, yeah. Uh-huh. So, but what I'm saying is, it's no. Am I? Opinion, I mean, I feel, when I you think like about when you think about the story though, Quavo, you the reason why takeoff is dead. No, no, no. But I ain't even worried about that though. I'm just saying like people be feeling like. It's it's a cap on what you should say as far as yeah, rap. just morally that wasn't but I feel that like wasn't right. Hip hop is no rules to this shit, right? No. So it's whatever say go. I mean, two so, first off, fuck your bitch in the right. I mean, he, that's the difference. He claims but, right. No, 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 I wish and took a picture with her. Ain't nobody going to picture with her in the club. The culture, like, the culture now know. is just extremely too sensitive. Sensitive, yeah. Um, oh yeah, sensitive. Word. I mean, 
I, I don't going, going back to what you were saying though, but with going back to Drake though. You got one more time to cut me off. God damn. I can't even get a word in. Get it, man. I'm trying to go along with the timeline. I like, know, but you keep, I mean, it's but it's, going along with the original, we were saying, you were saying that it's not the same. No, I don't feel like it is. I mean, it's to me, it's just, I don't know. I, it's a different caliber of it is. people. I'm, man. I'm not just, excited. It's just not. <laughs> I'm not excited. I know what like, she's saying is hard to explain, but the. I get what she's saying, but I feel what you're saying too. Yeah. It, this is hip hop. It right? is hip hop. But it's just what we got for hip hop now so versus the people she named. Does it seem manufactured it, to it you? It does. Okay, yeah. like, I can see I, that. It's like, I mean, to me, it's like you nick one, y'all taking too damn long to respond. Like if we got if we got dropped today, I need drop tomorrow. I don't need y'all to wait a week, two weeks, three days, four days. I need y'all to get in the booth right then and there. Mm. Secondly, Drake keep talking about the same shit. You talking about Kendrick height. That's that's everything that you keep saying. Like there's nothing that's like, oh shit, like outside of Chris Brown. Chris Brown was that was like a uh oh. But that's because he you, said, <laughs> wait a you minute. The <laughs> you the singer, nigga. You the came with the bars. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do like, you feel like that because he a singer? And he rapping? Or you yeah, just that was, the bars? He had bars and he's no, no. a rapper. I mean he's a singer. So the fact that he was really rapping was no. crazy. No. But I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm just, I feel like all of this is publicity. I feel like mm -hmm. something's finna come from this. I think they all finna do like a whole big ass collab. Mm -hmm. Now, that album. would be hilarious. Um, well, I really think to it's go, gonna be, be like, to go against Drake? please don't do that. No, I think that, I think this is I just all publicity. Is. Oh, you think Drake a part of it? Yes. Like I think it. at the end, there's gonna be a big I collab. I, I don't think that album. he's a part of being, because I feel like everybody in hip hop, it's like everybody versus Drake. I feel like Drake is the only but, it's, but, but it's, I feel but everybody it's though it's funny it. what she's saying yeah, though you know what's like crazy that, about what you're saying so in this new hip hop era that's kind of what it is because back in the day it didn't end up like that like, exactly but you, also, you just now getting Nas and Jay in a record oof. how many years yeah. but did it my take thing for that is, to happen even with that like now they, they talk so much about in this new age hip hop that it's not no beef but let me tell you there ain't nobody really addressing the beef. So and now then, it's like, let's do it. And I'm gonna tell you what's crazy about what you're saying too. You're you. Pro she's probably right, bro, because <laughs> look how fast it took for not uh, talking to Mike Drake. Oh, look how fast it took for my bad. <laughs> how how long it quick it took for Drake and um, Meek to just mend that shit and, and make a Chris, song together. Yeah, right? yeah. They made a song together, so them they might be coming out with the album. Just how we ended up needing we needed the Drake and Chris Brown thing. That was well, that was long overdue, but. When we got they song together, we was like, "See, nigga, as he, man, as went a fan of hip hop, I would spoke, be." But you know, it was never no, 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 no jabs at each yeah. other in the music that they were doing. Yeah, but we knew it was beef because of Rihanna being the the the, the middle woman. Mm. But I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm you over might have it. a point. Ash. I'm not gotta, I'm not excited anymore. I think, and then that, I'm mad. Um, J Cole took his. I, I mean, I get it, but what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> like, that right there. Well, I feel like that was gold. I'm like, damn, you just I, that was fun. I I enjoyed J Cole more he, he than I do Drake. He, he don't got it in his heart. Drake got it in his heart. But Drake not really. I mean, like he is, though. Drake. I, I, and I, this ain't no Drake slander because I like Drake. But Drake is just not Drake no bullshit. Drake doesn't give me. Battle rap city yeah, in the battle booth. Rapper. Battle Battling, rap. He's rapping, like boppy yeah. bop 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 pop 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 pop. Like he don't give me. <laughs> Jay he's still Jimmy Jimmy from Degrassi. Yes, that's how I still see him as that. Like, in a wheelchair. Him as that. But it's like when J Cole came on, I'm like, damn. But when you look at, when you look at, when you look at the overall landscape I of it, saying, I know I see what you're saying too. Though. But when you look at the overall landscape of it, everybody is going after him. And when you think about why, it's like it it. I don't want to say. Do we know why? Do we know? Not to cut you off, but do we know an official reason why? I know everybody hates Drake. Probably because Drake fuck everybody else, bitch. That's probably what the underlying issue is. A lot of people saying love a boy Drake. Somebody. Each person got a different issue. I don't want to go into detail. I I I know each individual reason why they they don't. Clearly, he is a Drakester. But but it's like they're all like even when we talk about the Kanye West, like he come out nowhere now. He against Drake, like he against Drake and J Cole. Well, you know he's like. When you on that, I feel like when you on that mountaintop, it's like because before Drake was his little brother, bro. Mm -hmm. He was a little guy. He spawns every situation I've been to. Dwayne, uh, Houston. He just spawns everybody's situation. Now he kind of like a, like rising above everybody. It's just like it's normal. Like if I'm teaching somebody something and I'm giving you advice or something, and then he become higher than me. 
I'm gonna kind of feel some way about yeah. it. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like it's just natural. Like it's just what it is. Like, and I feel like that's what it is. They like they feel like he getting like too high in his horse. But when you do your homework, Drake has supplied every one of these guys that's beefing him with their first number one a record. No, no Solid record. record. One. They've yeah. never had nothing bigger than anything that he's not a part of. So it's like, to me, from I feel like from Drake, it's like I'm feeding y'all. Mm. And now y'all ungrateful. Mm. So it's like now I feel some way. Now y'all feel some way about, it, but but I do also think it's another thing too. Drake is Jewish, so mm. he gonna get away with mm. a lot of shit that y'all ain't gonna get away with. Right. That's why these labels gonna get. I ain't know he's Jewish. 300, 400 million. Cause we run it. Cause what it is? I'm telling you what it is. They're they're right. just because <laughs> these labels are are paying Drake hundreds of millions of dollars to do music with whoever's on these labels. So like the sexy, whoever's hot in the moment. Sexy Red. Yeah, that's Red, what they were saying. That's sexy what Joe Budden yeah. was talking about, right? Sexy Red, when Lil Baby was hot, he was a, he hopped on Lil Baby. When Summer mm -hmm. Walker first came on, he hopped on Summer Walker. Mm -hmm. When whoever's hot, Wait. it's the labels. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember when they first come out. Yeah. When, they, when, when all these artists first come out, they first big record be something with Drake. It do. But that's the labels like, all right, we finna give you 300 million. In cash. Give who 300 mil? Drake. Drake. And whoever under the we, table shit. Under the table shit. <laughs> and whoever we got hot, that's who you gonna collab with. But the Rick Rosses, the Fresh Montanas, the people that's also been in the game for a long time, they don't like that shit. Cause they try to get these deals, but you ain't. I'm you really, ain't, I'm really upset Jewish. about Rick Ross and Drake though. I need them to handle that shit <laughs> yeah. but accordingly that's because they're they got too many records. Yeah. That's unmatched. I, I yeah. told this story Facts. on the last episode. The future thing is different though. He just, he just mad at Drake because he felt like. But is it mad? No, he's no, he's he he he's feel the. Are he, we assuming? No, I'm. <laughs> this, this is fact. This is fact. Guarantee fact. So when. I'm, I'm telling y'all. The dresser. So, wait, I'm, 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 I'm going to keep, keep these people before we go to the next topic. <laughs> so, if y'all don't remember when Drake and Future did their first project together, yeah. that was back in what? I don't know the year y'all tell me. Probably like 2015, 2014, I want to say. I think it was 2016. Future. 16, somewhere. Yeah, something like that. So, when they did that. What was Future, that, Jumpman? No, no. That's the Diamonds album? That same Ooh, album. Yeah. album. <sighs> so, around that, that time, album. Drake was just coming off the Meat Mill beef. But mm. he didn't have no like street credit he in never, the streets. He still ain't got. And so, <laughs> and so, Future felt like him doing that project. Him doing that project with him, right. that, that, that project, he gave him that stamp of approval when it comes to Atlanta and the streets. On top of that, Future was coming off a three peat. Mm. Mm -hmm. So he felt like at right that time, I'm the biggest out. Even though you got you just beat, you just beat me in the middle out. I'm really want to give you that that street. Approval. Mm. So if you're gonna do a, pro a a project with anybody in, in Atlanta, it need to be me. Right. Drake so big headed, he feel like he's so above everybody, he which he is. Like he, he feel like he can have do an album with anybody. Yeah. So now I'm I'm finna have an album with with Twenty One Savage. Yeah. Right. In his mind, it's not nothing against Twenty One Savage or that Future hates Twenty One Savage, but it's like if you're gonna do anything with anybody from Atlanta. Right. We need to be doing a part two. Right, right. Absolutely. So that's what his issue is. But they Absolutely. Had, but Metro they had, Boomin, Metro Boomin, but man. But they had a Metro part Boomin two. Man, well, it's over. No, they ain't doing nothing. Well, you know, yeah, I know. But I mean, they had a nah, part nah, two he, because they did... No, um, we're talking about a second album. Oh. That's what he's saying. You did a whole album with 21. Why not do a, a, a part two? And honestly, people that. were kind of asking for that. Before the 21 songs came out. Her Her loss. Wasn't it Her loss? No, 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 it was. Uh, that was twenty one. The one with all the the, the emojis the on. No, the diamonds is with all the that's diamonds. That's the future. That was future. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about that's the one that jump in is on. Yeah, what it is. Her so the one is her loss. Her loss. Oh. Her oh, loss with, with okay. the girl with the grill. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, one, gotcha, two, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, okay. So he just he just in his mind. So I think it's just some energy shit, like it's some ego shit. Mm. If you're gonna do some shit with anybody in Atlanta, you need to do a part two. Don't try to bit a whole other shit out with. 21-7. Now, right. Metro Boomer, I think he smashed Metro I, Boomer I, girl. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't That's why be... Metro, um, honestly. Metro smash Metro girl? I think he smashed Metro girl. That's why Metro It's crazy girl. with these niggas and these girls, man, because they don't really be with none of them. None like of them. Yeah. They real. be with each other. Nigga, just, you might come in there with three, four motherfucking men, right? <laughs> Your girl that you got with you I is smashed. four of them. Yeah. And if he come from over here... And at the end of the night, we done left the studio. We went to the club. Nigga in the club, doing that side talking in her ear. It's one of them out of the four. And one of them four leave with him and go 
end up being with him, they you're mad. mad. Right. He's, that shit is whack as hell. Hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the, come on, yeah. Golly. It's gonna keep doing it. Come on, Sonic. That's yeah, whack, so, man. Yeah. They be yeah. mad about that. I'm t- I done seen that in real life, bro. Yeah. No, that's, that's, they with me. Yeah. These is mine. They be bent off that Don't talk now. to none of them. They yeah. be bent about it. But let, let me know. Uh, all of this, I say it's always to say, like, the fact that everybody jumping on him lets me know that Drake is really Thanos. He Thanos. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Shit, bro. For sure. Because you, you don't pick this much. But I feel you. that guy. I feel you, but he yeah. is, though. Yeah. Thanos got his head chopped off. Look, it's just where we at in hip hop right now. Yeah, and it's just, I mean, like, it's just what it, it's a different type of caliber of person. I hate it it's, so much. It's different cloth. They, it is. What yeah. you yeah, talking about like, is a different you know, type you don't of cloth. Aging is somebody that you, that you don't feel like is top tier. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. we know yeah, that. Yeah, he's top tier in this in the world that we in right, right now. now. He's definitely top tier. Yeah. yeah. But she talking about that. It's a. Yes. Yeah, that's a, different a, from a, a whole, from a Nas, from a. But that's a different time. Cube. We're in a different time. Different and time. that's why it's a whole different time. We're in a different time. This ain't that 50 Jaru shit. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This ain't that 50 Jaru. That was good too. And that was a good. Them niggas in a stab each other. Right. This ain't no fine shit. Yeah. Anybody who heard of this beef? Yeah. But I feel like. Which I guess is safe, but fuck. Let's make it. Let's make. <laughs> but let's give it a little razzle dazzle like on How we talk about how, how we talk about Drake don't be doing this and third though. I feel like we be giving Kendrick too much of a like we give him too much like safe space to like cause he like to me he the Kawhi Leonard of the, this rap shit. He's like, the what? Kawhi Leonard. Leonard. Oh. <laughs> he the Kawhi Leonard of this shit, but he barely what you, play, what you mean he, by that? He barely be around. <laughs> like, like I, I just seen Ayo <laughs> Cap. The, the, the Clippers <laughs> played that day. They were talking about how Kawhi Leonard only played forty one percent of the, of the team's games this, this year. It sound like it sound like Kendrick. Only he yeah. only come out on a feature, <laughs> then he disappear again. You don't hear him for another six He's months. A real artist. That's what yeah, he gotta go back yeah. and recharge. Yeah, yeah, but as a fan, but as a fan, you like consistency, though. No, it's not consistency. You want what you call, um, when something comes real quick, uh, uh, automatic gen- uh, gratification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instant gratification. Instant gratification. Goddamn. So you saying Drake fans are, they like instant, instant gratification. gratification yeah. Everything's microwavable right here, real quick. But it be quality. But though. he dropped like that. He dropped records like that though. Yeah, that's too. why everybody like him. That's what they want Kendrick to do. But the Kendrick ain't gonna do that. Kendrick ain't never did it. He He's a different type yeah, of he artist. He never did it. Well, he yeah. just, I mean, you know, but, to compare but, it to but, a Jay Cole. You, like you, you, you feel like you can be number one with that mindset? I don't think he give a fuck about no, being number yeah. one. See, that's the, but that's the thing. I, like, that's the difference. The but see, that's the thing. That's the difference. I mean, he wants you to know he's the best rapper. Yeah, but he cares about being a just because you the best rapper. Don't mean you number one on the commercial, right? Yeah, commercial means you number one. Putting out. But look though, I'm gonna say that back. That's like saying we. LeBron James, that's what makes him the GOAT to me because he's been doing this shit consistently for 21 years. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, and he's but, like but he's, a but he's actually still good. You, you won't pick Kawhi Leonard over, to, over, over him. Because LeBron is actually still good. Yeah. And he... He delivers. No, I wish you. I feel like Drake I mean, the same way. Yeah, Drake delivers. He he I'm been, he, he been legit delivers. since I was in tenth grade. That's, <laughs> he and he delivers. been number one. <laughs> Am I at me? So I feel like that's why I kind of feel like. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, there I think are different to each his own. But I do feel like Drake number one though, out the fact that he done dropped two songs. No, and I, I think he's shit number one. Yeah, I, and he absolutely. created right, and he a Scorpio, and a nigga got them petty as fuck. Huh? He petty as fuck though. I like I like rappers that's petty. He that's petty. That light skin shit. Petty as Ooh, fuck. Most light skin niggas is petty. petty he's so petty. It's so <laughs> good. Yeah. He, he do little he's shit. He's a complete troll. Like, he say some shit mm-hmm. that only the person that he's talking about would know. Would know what they talking about. Like. Mm-hmm. Kanye said this the other day. He was like, type of when Drake do this record, he don't come at you straight up. He do like little little small shit. Jabs. Like, like, like did that nigga just? Like, by the house he's been doing that for a really long time though. Or. DM every girl in your Did family. Did you see you had the band like playing at Magic like, City? Yes. The fuck with Metro? <laughs> right, the fuck with Metro. That like, had me screaming. Yeah. Only song here we could do shit like what that. What the fuck? Top tier pettiness. Yeah. Top tier. Here, It's a light skin trait. I don't know if you want to talk about the Yee, but um, Kanye hopped on Easy. like that remix. Um, yeah, that, I like Justin that. Justin LaBoy finna drop a podcast. That shit went. And shit why trash. is he? The music was, I like the music more than I like the The music was good. Go ahead. God damn, that's <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Y'all got my like point of working It guys. feels like the time Gets shorter and shorter Every time um, It's every five minutes now I heard it It's pretty good um, it's, it's good for I mean but What like, y'all talking about? 
The yeah. Kanye. Huh. He drop, yeah. yeah. But I feel like. I don't know, bro. This, this, this shit getting old, bro. Like you said, but this, everybody yeah, hopping it. on like that. It was cute. You know, Y'all could have did that for a week and cut the shit short. Like, at this I point. just want to hear Kendrick come with something, man. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Which We're patiently he waiting. Well, look, no, he, he got to. Three dots yeah, for Kendrick. That, that don't, yeah, right. He on the clock. <laughs> just sure. loading. It's not right, loading. We waiting on his text thread. waiting on a response. Come on, man. But the longer he take, though, to me, I feel like hurts him. More than help him. You don't hurt him? No, don't. think so. No, don't. Depends on how he comes. As long like, as it's solid, you know, yeah. Wait Taylor Swift to drop before he put out, like, cause he's scared to drop the same time. That's strategic album. though. He ain't. If it's good, it's good. not from, from skill. skill. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah. Period. The fact that yeah, she's it don't matter what he drop. If it's good, it's good. The Swifties are serious. Yeah. The only thing that that matters with the time is if he do some whack shit. Yeah. Then we're gonna be like, bro, we Man, waited. You could have said that. We waited for that. With the Taylor freestyle though, like how Drake did with the. Uh, Tupac and, and, um, and Snoop. Snoop. Do you feel? Because I feel like that's by, scary. By by, do, by doing that though, <laughs> it kind of like he got to like come at a whole other level. Mm. Well, they had already. Did you see the guy that had made the the, the AI? Um, the Kendrick, Kendrick AI. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. And I was just kind of like, this shit is just. It's getting weird. I don't the AI thing. Yeah, listen, it, we it, just no, leave no, that out. The AI is being weird. <laughs> but like, why the fuck? Why like first off? No, no, no. Why are you doing a diss track with features? <laughs> I ain't never heard of no shit like that. It's okay. It's, it's, That's weird. It's weird, but it's how he did it. It's weird. Yeah, it was, I like the creativity it, it, it of it. It's creative. I mean, it's I like creative. That nigga yeah, bought pop back, weird. nigga. Kendrick Lamar from the West Side, so he used the Nigga pop been, pop been back. He been on a lot of tracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, but what he said, nigga been though, dead, though, like, he's trying to figure out what I was antagonizing him. Like, yeah, but we your OGs, but why you taking so long, bro? You supposed to drop this shit. That's what it is. It's creepy. That's your hard, though. That was hard, man. That's hard. That's that creepy. That's your hard. That was hard. Nobody else pulled that off, though. I, guess we'll I see thought it was creative as hell. Kendrick head. might fuck around and come back with who knows. He might have somebody on see, there too. If, if, him, if him, I would have came up with. I would have picked Kendrick. No, what? Uh, he should put Nipsey. Talk to, oh, mm. oh, he might. Nipsey has a third. That would be so No, I'm crazy. saying Kendrick. No, no, no. Kendrick, Kendrick should use Nipsey. Nipsey. No, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're from LA. Mm. Yeah, he got to. Yo, if Kevin come back with the Nipsey AI. Oh, give an idea. Kendrick, if you, see, Kendrick, if you <laughs> see this, that we're talking about AI voices with deceased people is nuts. It's, it it's is weird. crazy. The fact that you can bring and I got a feeling that people that feel like you, like this shit is kind of like got a lot of sugar sprinkled on yeah. it type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a little sweet. A little sweet. Real sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, sweet. I think they going to feel it. The old, the OG niggas, the older niggas is gonna be like, oh, that's what this I'm saying because I feel like baby that was Snoop. Beef. Snoop was subtly saying that in the post, like, bitch, <laughs> what who cleared this? Because I what didn't. Say? Well, he did. Well, he. I didn't see he what he said either clear because he didn't put it on DSPs. I know, know, but it's those. weird. It. It's hell. I'm living, nigga. I'm living. Like, nigga. that's weird. <laughs> like, you have to like, like Snoop yeah. put it. He put. He made like a post, like that meme with him. Did he do it? Did he like, Okay, this was awkward. I didn't ask to be here, but oh, shit. I'm in. I'm in it into the chat for no reason. Yeah, I'm in the part. I'm, I'm in the middle but of the battle. But I do have a question. Um, with the Chris Brown and Quavo thing, mm. a lot of people on Twitter, um, on X, excuse me, <sighs> um, <laughs> formerly known as Twitter, um, they were saying like <laughs> they were talking about Sweetie and how she really. A bona fide hoe, mm. and they were kind of like comparing, like, why does Sweetie not get the negative connotation that Meg got for you know they were saying like Meg was a hoe, but Sweetie, I can't remember what they called her. Um, it was she not term. as big. And I, yeah, I was gonna man, tell you, no one honest. cares. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, yeah. I what Sweetie, got you're going beautiful, on. Oh, all that. But I, that Sweetie won't no one cares. Who was referencing? Because they both dated Karuchi. Uh, that's what I thought too. I thought they were talking about Karuchi. I really didn't think they were talking about Sweetie. Oh, I don't know. No, who, who dated Karuchi? Both of them. Quavo and I didn't know Quavo and Karuchi yeah, were dating. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Chris went on his second disc. He was like, okay, yeah, he talked about like fucking my ex. But I thought he was like, you were with her. Yeah. Right. So it, so it, it kind of implied that it was Sweetie. Sweetie. Yeah. Mm. And then they posted a picture of them on the on the on the unless um, he was that, unless Karuchi let him double dip. She spun the block. Yeah, she could have. Nah. And we just don't know about it. Was it. Really hate, I really hate her and Vic. He's like, sweetie. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, you might be right. I really heard her and Vic ain't work out. They were so cute. Uh, but no, bad at what oh, you were saying is because mm-hmm. Sweetie's not a big artist like that. Like, we don't really care, yeah. like what she said. Yes. Meg she is so, she such on a hits. high horse. But the thing is, when you, but when you, when you, <laughs> when you look at the track record of Sweetie, Sweetie got 
It's a lot of industry. I understand niggas. what you're saying, but, but you somebody understand. had commented and was like, "Oh, this bitch." They're not giving her respect on her lyrics. They're not gonna put Imagine her on her Gucci. Imagine Beyonce was home. Well, they're definitely not gonna do that. You see what I'm saying? She, she might can't. be a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, <laughs> <it's> like, <well, laughs> but imagine yeah. if, if it was documented like how Sweetie and Meg is. Like yeah. then you'd be like, everybody be on Beyonce ass because mm. she's Beyonce. Mm. Sweetie's just like. You put like you said you you pretty but we don't really give a fuck. All right, fuck these. Yeah, all her songs. Are I think if she was better, if she, yeah, if she had music. better skill, if she was better at rapping. She had yeah. better records. I really liked her bigger records. Like, it would be different. It was like, right, mm. right, mm. right. Cause she out here. Who? Twenty one to kill that. Oh, she, she, oh, she, she a better. good. Yeah, she's That's a better. Still on the man who's broken their mind. I'm not doing that. Yeah, it's never gonna happen to me. So I got some clips. We got some clips. We're gonna talk about. Uh, I'm actually not gonna play the whole clip. I'm play like maybe like the first. We already heard it. I, so you gonna? I'm gonna play the first <laughs> twenty seconds of it, and then we gonna talk about. Not just sitting here. We be playing for four minutes, listening to the whole damn clip. Um. So the first one is. This has to be the, the worst, worst advice, advice that I have ever heard on the internet. Ever. How many times should me and my wife get it in a month? Realistically. It's as much as the person who wants it the least. Mm. So if her answer was two, the answer would be two. And there is no magical number. However many times a person who wants it the least, that's how many times you should be having it. And if you want to change that, change the way you have sex with that person. Change the way you love on that person. Change how much you do around yeah. the house. As a sex live with that. Mm. So she said the person that wanted the, the least, least, that's the number you should go with. Correct. Mm. And why? But why wouldn't it be with the person? I'm just hype. I'm just asking. You mm. know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't it be with the person that wanted it the most? I'm assuming because the second why person would feel like more important. They're, they're they feel like it's form. forced. They feel ob yeah. I mean, yeah. obligate. Like it's an obligation. Oh, because the least. Because if Ashton wanted, want it, then you're trying yeah. to force it on. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You're not. She doesn't want. She yeah. She just don't you. want it. I was slow on that one. I feel like only women can make that. Decision. I feel I feel like that too. Only women can make that decision. Guys can't be like, yeah, we don't want to do it two times a week. Yeah, I don't nah, really nah, want well, it. Well, I don't think women just come out and be like, I only want to have sex two times a week. But I do know men that have like the thing about a man is like if there's too much on his head top, he might not be sexually in that, in that space. Yeah. Like right. he he That's just real. don't want it. That's a fact. And it's not a it's not a prominent thing, but there are times in a man's life where that is he's thinking about something else mm -hmm. so you know i think it's about just knowing your partner like a lot of this stuff you can kind of weed out before y'all actually get in a relationship uh, even, shit changed now <laughs> shit changed shit changed now shit changed yeah. i mean people 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 change people grow yeah. it within day. a long span yeah, of time yeah. for sure you can go when i first met you i might want i might have been All a rabbit time. You know, I might have been an info. I wanted to have sex yep. all the time, but as responsibilities and things like that grow, we have children. We're yeah, there's, like, you know, yes. it, yeah. It, but look though, going back though, that's something that Trill used to say all the time though. He said that shit. I think an episode he did with us about how like women advertise a certain amount of sex at the beginning of the relationship, mm -hmm. and then once you get in it, it kind of changes. I feel like that's so that shit gets on my nerves because it's, it's so a dopamine thing. Because it's just like. Yeah, we could have been meeting at 19 and I was, like you said, a nympho. Yeah. I, I didn't have no responsibility. My hormones was up and down. All we doing is doing Boom. it. And now I'm, I'm, I'm 28 with one child, maybe two. We're now married. And I mean, we've ran out of the, spon the spontaneity of doing shit. So it's just kind of like, now I have other responsibilities that are on my mind for me to do outside of having sex. But that's why 
she, she went further. Uh huh. Initially, it is that spontaneous feeling that you have. Mm-hmm. Right. So she was at because you're my partner. Yeah. Or right. because you're my partner and you're enjoying it, I get the fulfillment of seeing you enjoy happy, it. like to please. Because there are times where you be like, "Fuck, I did not want to do this tonight. This was not in the playing cards." Right. But now we done. Okay, I'm glad you're happy. Now I'm going back to sleep. So, <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Good night. Okay. For real though. I want to put that like that. Both, both of y'all are married, correct? Yes. Right. Um, I want to talk about sex and marriage though, like, cause I feel like that kind of like is she what just she's getting, getting, getting to it. What she was saying, like, <laughs> as far as like how it like changes, like, um, cause I know as a when you're trying to impress somebody or trying to like put your best foot forward. Uh-huh. There's certain things you might do, but I feel like it's human to get kind of comfortable. Oh yeah, you're gonna get comfortable in a marriage because yeah. you get comfortable with the person that you're with. That new phase definitely dies off, it but it we you have to be intentional about mm. making it that. Now there are some things that happen that can happen in a marriage that it doesn't matter. Like, mm. you know, it might be trust issues. It might be, there are things that happen that can really affect your sex life mm. to where the person just genuinely doesn't want to have sex with you. Is it the person or is it the space that that person is in? Do you feel like you can go through? It could through, be both. Do you feel like you can go through a rut of like three, four months and it's just like sex is just not on the forefront. Mm-hmm. So it almost like you is almost giving roommate. Yeah, because especially if you got Y'all like cool, kids involved or sex. things like that because your mind is not, not on that. Your mind is not specifically on that person. Now I have to think about oh, this yes. child. I have to think about whatever I have to do right. with work. I have to think about. So yes, that dynamic can definitely change. It's not it doesn't necessarily have to be I'm not attracted to this person. But you know, as humans we get stuck in that because it's like, oh shit. Um, am I right? Let me, being, let me let me let me snap the, back in. Dude, there's some like is it some like as a woman you can find yourself maybe questioning wondering, yourself like did something cha- what changed or did something change because what is it now that we're, why can't we you know yeah mm. um I think one thing that we don't talk about or we don't hear a lot is there are times that women wanted more than maybe their male partner and it mm. a lot of times the roles flip yep. And it's in the space where she's like, okay, I want it. And he's mm-hmm. like, yeah, baby, I got other shit to worry. I think that's yeah. most of the time. I think women want it more than men all the time. But, you know, like being in the space of having a, f- it's weird. As a woman, it's weird to force my partner to have, yeah, like, yeah. you know, or always being the initiator. That gets kind of strange because it's like, okay. Um, Do you want me? Hello? <laughs> Is it something that I'm missing? Please, yeah. you know. I don't think yeah. nobody wants to always be the initiator. Right. You want to you want it to bounce back and forth. Right. But what's a healthy dose? Because it's like, if I always want it, I'm a... <laughs> I mean, you should know. Like, if you feel like you've given more effort to, for, to have sex with your partner, you mm-hmm. know, like, yeah, yeah, I think, and you gotta have them. You gotta have them, them real conversations. Yes, yes. I've had that conversation. I was gonna say, yeah. in those conversations, I feel like sometimes they get. If you're in a relationship, relationship or marriage, like, or you've been with somebody for a while, like, you should, especially if it's been some years, like, that shouldn't be. You should know that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I should know that about you. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Because people, it's, it changes. It you know does. what I'm saying? It's so, it's, it's so right. like. Yeah. And even even when and even when you it's I don't know it just changes like sometimes you might be fire hot mm-hmm. and just want to do it all mm-hmm. the time and then you might not be mm-hmm. in that mode for mm-hmm. a long while <laughs> because energy shift energy change things happen we we living in a real dynamic universe yeah. you know what and I'm saying it's a really. lot of flow of energy and things that's going on throughout your day throughout your world and you might be the man might be higher vibrational on the sex vibes and want to do it all the time but I think. That's just conversation, and you got to really be having them deep conversations with your mate. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, you got to have somebody that's that's you're able to have those conversations with. Conversations with. Because some people don't mature enough to be able to have those conversations, and it becomes defensive. Mm -hmm. And then it's a big blow up. Mm -hmm. And And then that 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 creates more friction in the house. Yeah, communication is everything. But it's like it just seems as though you hear a lot of men speak about 
women always over advertising a certain type of lifestyle. Like Nigel said, putting their best foot forward. You gonna mm-hmm. hello, you gonna step right. I think that's to get everybody you, knows. Yes, Niggas everybody come, do that. We, we do that too. We fresh with yep. our gear. We got our haircuts, yep. beard shade. Like we bringing our best and be throwing grade A D game. And no, they don't want to be with them. We talked about that too, didn't we? I be saying this too. Like a lot of times I think (laughs) where those things fail at is because like you said, things change. Women have these hormonal issues or whatever or things going on with their body, fellas. We got things that go on with our body. And I think too, when you get in them deeper relationships, you know what I'm saying? Niggas start farting around you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, like all kind of little <laughs> shit that be happening in right, the bathroom right, right. and all them type of right. things. Sometimes I feel like, and this is just, y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Should you keep them things separate? That or, was should you bring them, or should you bring them? <laughs> no, I've talked to several people that I know. I ain't going to bring their names up. People we all know. Even some of the celebrities we know. I had this mm. conversation with niggas. Like, do you keep that? Is your wife bathroom down the hall? That, Will she do uh, all the shit she do? Because some niggas don't want to see their woman in that light. So I think they can I, I think would keep it separate. I would. You, know you would saying? keep it separate. Shetta said... You, Shetta said his woman can't shit in the house with that. Mm-hmm. I know several she, niggas. I don't want to like see my girl shit. Down the street to shit. I don't want to see my girl shit. Yeah, you don't want to walk in and see your girl shitty draws either. You I know hope what I'm she saying? don't got no shitty right. seat. That's, that's what I mean. But I'm just saying That's it's at the same. It's on the same caliber. Yeah, it like, is. It is. It is. Shitting in front of your mate. Depending yeah. on who your mate is and what your shit and what it's like, <laughs> you might not like that. I don't see. Of no longer wanting to just have sex with you spontaneously. With your husband, I'm talking within a marriage or a long term relationship. How do you, what does that conversation look like? How I think, first of all, you have to realize that it's only a moment in time, even if it's some months, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think it always, like, this is how it's going to be for the rest of our life, right. you know what I'm saying? Or our sex life or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think you, first, you have to realize, like, it's just a moment in time. You just might not be feeling like that for four months, five months, two months, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think you can. Just don't put a time on it and make it like it's forever. Because mm-hmm. it just sounds kind of like... That's- Not only that, but you end up living... You end up moving through the re- the relationship like that. Mm-hmm. Because that is your me- that's your mental space. Mm-hmm. You're not thinking that it can get better, so... It get it's just shit. Being a human is just hard. I mean, <laughs> it's like you know, it's it's so you know, because everybody's subjective. Everybody's partner is different, and when yes. you know your partner and you know certain triggers and ticks, it's like if that conversation becomes so redundant. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like if you feel like in the if you feel like you're the person that always is initiating or always wants to have it, and it's like y'all go good for a little run, the run good, y'all running, mm-hmm. y'all jogging, sweating a little bit, and then. We didn't hit like three months without doing it no more. It's like, oh shit, how did we get here again? So that's what I'm saying. So like when you have when that happens again, because it's like like you said, it's it's a it's a revolving. It keeps going, right? So you have the you have the time where you're doing great. Sex Mm -hmm. is sex is a thing, you know. You have your times of the months that you're doing them, whatever. But then you hit a you hit a rut. And you're back in that space of feeling like, fuck, we're here again. And I think mm-hmm. that's where you so have to now, change the mindset. Right. But, that's, that's but, where the but okay, that, okay, well, then we're like, here yeah, like, yeah. again. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> but it's like <laughs> now, how do I address this again where it's not where I'm I'm bitching? I'm moaning. You got to bring it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it, it you just, just got to bring it up. It, My it, question is, how do you keep getting here again? Right. Right? Are you still dating? Are you still having fun with each other? Are you still like flirting with each other? Are you still doing the things that you I did agree. in the beginning? I think a lot of the, a lot of those things stop because you get so caught up in other things. You're not realizing that you're not treating your partner the same. Mm-hmm. So the communication of you have to be able to tell your partner like this is what I'm not. This is what I'm not getting. Right. This is why I'm not in the mood. You got to get to the mm-hmm. body, the root cause of the issue mm-hmm. every time. It might be different every time. But, but you then, have to get to the because there's a reason. This is, but then this is where there is a reason. In, this is where we also then get in back to where the therapist was saying, why as a partner, you know, if you know it's something that I want, not uh, I need, I want, right, or I need as my partner, why are you like, okay, I know, I know, it's been about four months, you know, we we ain't did nothing. Let me go on and just. Get but if, what do you do if you don't for, feel like it, though? For the pleasure of... What you mean? If he don't feel like it or she don't feel like it, I, I guess it can go both well, ways. Yeah, like, if you don't... If you're not in the in the space of feeling like it, but you know your partner... We, is. we all... We're, right. You know, this is a this is a two-people thing. So there's going to be shit that we don't want to do, but we know our partner wants it or needs it done. You get it done. Right. Without any grievance or any gripe. Yeah. So just like what that 
therapist was saying, she's like, you know, yes, you it's maybe not be spontaneous anymore, but you're now doing this act because of the pleasure that your partner gets from it being done. Right. You know, but you also don't want it to feel like it's a damn task and a chore mm. to do. Mm. So it's just like, I don't know. I mean, let me ask you about guys who are entitled because they feel like they're paying for everything that they should be getting it. Getting what? Whatever that they want. Getting what? We talking about sex. the pussy? The, yeah. Oh, because you remember yeah. everything I posted. That is why I laughed. I heard that. Get what? <laughs> I knew exactly what? what that meant. So you feel like that's out of bounds? No. First off, to me, <laughs> I don't feel like it's out of bounds. But like you said, if, when you like, say pay for everything, what you mean? I mean, like you saying bills, or you saying like on the date? I'm okay, I'm 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 you know why you feel like that? I'm gonna tell you why you feel like that as a man. I'm gonna tell you why you feel like that. Explain. I want you to explain. I'm just talking to the. I'm talking to the woman who don't like going fifty fifty. Wait. So we talking about bills? We talking about fuck all that? Fuck. Hold on. Wait. 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 This is what bothers me because. We always get into this conversation. It always finds another loop. It comes back in the circle. Niggas get mad at women because we don't allow men to be men. Men want to be the men. Men want to be the provider. Uh, but give you the, alley. I, I give you the alley oop. Right. Now you the man, you the provider. You pay for everything. Now no no we we we're, we're agreeing with you because if we're gonna pay for everything I'm a, I'm I'm cool with that. I take that that responsibility. But you feel like when you ready but, to bust but when we're open. doing that. We want you to bust it open, though. <laughs> we just I feel do. like that, that's another thing. But I feel like me, that's such moni- a- I'm sorry, Ashley. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Ashley. Monetary <laughs> is not what's going to get me there. That, okay. I don't give a fuck I about- I'm a, let, let, me, let, let, me, let me turn my mic. When you say bust it open, though. Straight. Yeah, just, <laughs> at any moment, you ready? No, no what, he's what? just saying he wants to have sex in general. Like you should. When he wants it. He should, right. When he wants it, you should be down to do it. Especially if you ain't got no worries in the world about- No matter what you- That's crazy. Your money. <laughs> really? But really, if you want your money to express vagina, go get a prostitute. Thank go you. To the strip club. But we, we talk about this all the time. Money is we don't I be the main I be the main spokesperson. Like I'm tell you money is cute, is. it's cool, but what else? Right. But y'all like the one percent though. Y'all like the zero fucking percent, really. <laughs> or the point five. Because if what? you if you on Instagram, if you on the radio, all the songs are saying, I'm busting it open for the money. And that's the but see, that's the, that's the world that's we really. live in. That's, that's why I feel like that because every time it's he opens his phone, it's, fake it's a news. girl right now saying, say, I'm gonna bust but it open. We now see city girls for the money. Both of them have us is in relationships and doing whatever the fuck, Period. whatever submission Who's they need. Who's asking them to do? They doing a Job. Propaganda. Work. That's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But that's they what people They putting on the show. All Stop that is show. Trying to live your life through fucking the artists. But I also feel like I'm not fucking sexy red. I don't come from that yeah. type of era. But I don't, I'm telling you why I'm not feel like that as I don't, a man. I'm just but saying that. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking for the man who can't though. speak right now. Huh? You know your partner though. Your partner's not a city girl, so yeah. don't yeah. treat her like a city girl. We'll talk. We'll talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, no, no, no. But I feel like, um, when a girl is, is able to be in her most feminine self, then you will be more willing to bust it Make open. sure that I... Okay, right. Yes, make sure yeah, that, I, I'm that I'm able to stay in my feminine But I feel energy. like in order for you to be your feminine self, things have to be taken care of. Yes, because then I feel But like that doesn't I'm always look monetary, though. Yeah. That's what I right. want people to understand. It's things that. like them feeling it's protected. It have to be that. It, like, it, that's what, all I the think that's what me gets me with the narrative that people run with. I don't have to, like monetary comfortability doesn't mean that I'm gonna be my most safe. So, nigga, you can pay for everything in this goddamn world, and I might not be safe. And get what? You can walk right. outside, and nigga, slap the fuck out you. Yeah. Right. right. And then I'm looking at right. you. Well, who we finna slap? Cause that got to protect you. Exactly. The flow. Right. Exactly. So, so it's, it's like, yeah. I agree mm-hmm. with you. Actually, it's not no, about. It's not it's about the agree, fucking money. I agree too. But I just think the men be. just think the, that question he asked. It's just how most motherfuckers thinking. And then because no, 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 the music, what they're get, what they're looking at every day. It's I, what's I, being, the, she said she used the word narrative. That's the narrative that's being sold. Yeah. No, no, no. no. But it's also it goes both ways because where I'm where I, I'm speaking for the, the people that's in the one percent of that that she hates because and they <laughs> and, and because the niggas in the one percent of they see how nobody no women are fucking with niggas that's broke. 
So they're fighting over they're fighting over the one percent. What it is is the guys that are one percent they know that women are fighting for them. I'm so so you, they feel they can get away tight. with murder. I know it's making her mad. Really I'm, I'm just so nervous because that's saying. just common sense. As a grown ass adult, you've been taught as a child, woman and man. Like provider. even my mom taught me as a young girl, when you go out on dates, you better not ever go without no money. Right. Because you don't never know what the fuck gonna happen right. on that date. You right. may have to go Dutch. You may have to pay for both of y'all fucking. You don't know. Yeah. So don't ever. Nigga ask you to go out. You better have your own money too. Facts. So that's one thing. As a man, you've been taught you have to have money to play. Duh. You got to have money today. Yeah. Duh. You can't just go and be out here thinking you're going to find a bitch with, with talking. Yeah. I mean, no. and at the end of the day, when you're thinking about marriage, no woman is thinking about marriage going into it and having to take care of her own self. Because if not, I can't. I don't have to fucking marry you. Yeah. Why am I marrying you? Right. Right. You know what I mean? But it's not, it doesn't mean that I think men I'm just expecting on that. you to do That's what I'm saying. everything. See, and, and, and I not, you know, I know I talked about my boy last week and I gave him oh. kudos. Shout out to my boy Kev. Man. I gave him kudos, know. but he, he started this little dumb shit with these niggas thinking that, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Samuel. Yeah, that oh. they're like, that, that <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to get my words out because I'm just You're so. Saying he, he created a. A, high a profile type of man. He, well, cre he created God. When I, and when we say high profile, this is air quotes because most of the men <laughs> that listen to him are not high profile at men. All, Those men all. that are high profile that he speaks of are not listening to Kevin Samuels. But, no. but he also talk about the women, mm. the, the, the men that women want. Because when he's talking to the women, you know what I'm saying? He's telling you, all right, this is the guy that you're describing. Now, this guy that you're describing, what it's going to take to really be with him. Probably ain't gonna be what you can do or what you really, really right. want to do. Which is which is true. But this is what it takes to be able to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like from from a female perspective, I be feeling like y'all don't be wanting to hear that. Like y'all be like, okay, we ain't talking yeah. about that. We back yeah. to the money. Back to the money. Go ahead. We, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Back the to the whole, moolah. The, yeah. Back that whole the thing though. That whole that whole money money whatever. If I'm spending money this is money. everything, folks. It, it is, it. and I, I wish it's that not. we would get over that hump. Like and we're over and our twenties now. And we gotta stop praising people who has money. Well, no, it's okay. That's what it is. It's okay because Monday, those, those money niggas, is not gonna fix the, no. the communication that, issues that are in the relationship. The They're you. not gonna. It's, it's gonna put a band aid on it. That's don't get it. me wrong. You buy me something nice, I might be nah, nice. Nah, it's really days. just gonna make that. But the root cause it enhances. You have to take it off eventually. The root cause is not fixed, and that's the problem. Like, why we even talking? Why does that? All this even mix in like but do you think, relationship. Do you though. look when you look back at it ain't gonna save your relationship. No. Great grandparents, ancestors. It wasn't about no it money had nothing to money, do with it. Money kind of it 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 was a it was a reason why a lot of women were getting married for security reasons because right. mm -hmm. women, women were didn't on have, they weren't as independent. Ex, they didn't have absolutely. Job, access well, to and jobs. Absolutely. I see what you're saying. And yes. it's like now we're flipping. Because men took pride in being the providers and took pride in being but, able to but this, take but care this, of the home this with shit the money. we playing in now is more Getting than just too. providing, yeah, it though. Is. It it's is. It's just more than having the house, making sure that things are paid for, and, and that's like, it's got to be at, on the next level. When you, you know look what at saying? those grandmas and grandpas and all of them, a lot of those men weren't present with how that woman was feeling right. in the house. Right. Mm. You know and what I mean? Right. It was that's literally a, a coexisting environment. Right. I go home. I mean, I go make the I go make the money, bring it home. She you make sure you home. take care of the house, take the care kids. of the kids. Right. Was there really a loving environment? I feel like now mm. in this generation, we're cultivating a whole different space. Mm. I agree. Different with it's different level of love. Like women, I agree. women are doing their thing now. You know Facts. what I mean? We're coming, yeah. we're equally Facts. coming together with something to the right. table. See, you're not as dependent on no. a man. Right. And, and, no, and, right. not, and that's not Absolutely. a bad thing. Right. You know what I mean? No. And I think that men sometimes we, I wish that we would. I don't know. I just wish I that all black that. people think, could no, just no, go no, to a town hall meeting. We no, just, no, just no. sit down. And let's talk about this. Let me add another, let's go by your eye about this real quick, please. Uh, that's a fact, though. I think, I think this is what men don't consider is the fact that the reason why they were the providers and all that is because women literally had absolutely no right to ask. You know, that's a fact. That's exactly why. And you know, that's one thing I don't agree with Kevin because he will come in and say, like, you know, you got your little degree. What that mean? Which it does not mean, but you know, it don't, degree, no, to a man, that's not what he looks for. But, but, right. no, no, okay, no, we no, get no, no. it. He's saying that because most majority of these women are looking to be a housewife. 
So he's saying, what's the point of getting a degree? Yeah, you just want to sit at home. home. That's true. That's what he. That's why he's saying that. That's true. So if you sit here, I want to. I, I got a. A PhD. That's why he put a little hit that button. Yeah, like, burn. I got a PhD because right. uh-huh. you saying that as if <laughs> that means that something, something. That means like I should have this caliber of man, right. but it don't if you don't want to work. So the degree was pointless, <laughs> right? So why are you why are you using that as a tactic on why you should be getting somebody that makes one hundred thousand dollars? Just have to change the way we present that though. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's like like we were talking about earlier. I want to be soft as much as I can be. Please. But if I need to carry us, baby, I got it. I got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's and the safety, the <laughs> safety net. I can go and get it. Yeah, but like the you said, though, that I think sometimes it's like it's like a double. It's a double. It's a double edged sword because I think as women we've came so far, but we use it as a as a as a weapon. Two to come when we're talking like when we want to be courted by a man like nigga. I'm. I mean, hello. But it also is like okay, as a man and a real nigga, I don't cool. I don't appreciate care about that. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but that's why I don't care about it. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. The reason we don't care about how much money you make because you're not spending no money anyway. Well, hold on, nigga. That's why nigga. Am I lying? <laughs> Am I say anyway. No, because when you think about it, no, nigga. Guess what? If I got the money, you got the money. That's double the money. I'm with you. It's a one up, like the mushroom on Mario. Okay, well, if that, look though, look at him. I'm saying if that's the case, if what you're saying is true, then more women should be okay with doing fifty fifty. No, mm. no. We, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't have both sides. Though. There are some bitches out here. Get around right. Union. Your favorite there couple. Are. Get around Union going 50 50 with the way, way, way. I'm not here to speak. Fact. She I'm is 50 50 with a fucking NBA but you star. Can't, all I'm saying is you can't use the independent route knowing that you want to not pay for nothing. But I don't feel like you It's what I'm saying. Nobody's saying. At the saying. end of the day. You don't do you have some trauma that you didn't no, speak about? No, we're talking about the same. I'm talking about the same. We're talking about the same time. Do most, do most women, saying, y'all don't want to pay for nothing? I, most women don't want to pay I'm for married. nothing. I'm married. I'm going to say this. But they want to use She married. What she got to say? As a ma- I'm saying. I say this as a married woman. Someone said it earlier. I need to be a safety net. Yeah. Right. I want to know. I've been in this situation mm-hmm. where there was layoffs at a job. And thank God I was making fucking money. Right. And yes. he thanked God I was making fucking money because I was able to take care of everything that needed to be taken care of when the folks. And for you me, go. Person, just being with somebody who can't do that, who don't work. Who yeah, don't work. Do what do you do? That's more I'm stress. Not, that's more stress on a man I mentally. Most guys want that. They will, they will <laughs> want a secondary income. I, I'm not saying that. I'm yeah. just saying. When, but, when, when men, like, but, but there are sometimes point, there I are men that come with a sense of arrogance. Like, right, like when you talk to him, oh, like know, you, yeah. you know, sometimes you'll hear niggas like, "Okay, you got a degree, and yeah. respect that." Please. Right, no, no, no. But I'm, if, if you go back, you <laughs> understand why he's saying, and. "No, ain't no end, ain't no end, nigga." Respect but, it, ain't no end because way. guess what? If you were by yourself and you didn't have a partner. You would have to figure it out. But guess what? The benefit of having a partner, if you lose your job... Why do niggas act like COVID never happened? No. Why do motherfuckers act like niggas did not lose? A lot of people was losing... Fortune 500 companies were You're losing right. their jobs. You're right. You're These right. are niggas that never seen this coming into right. play and Talk thought that this was going to be their right. career for their lifespan. Right. And they got, they got they got got well, me personally, income. I want mine to be like working <laughs> and getting that second income. <laughs> no, Fuck man. what you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because we able to build, stack, but, buy more land, yeah. buy more shit. Listen, you said the we word. Don't, hey, it's marriage is a business, yes. too. Like, yes. y'all better, man, y'all better use these I, numbers I, and, I, man, I, 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 y'all better know these, the how to like, use these taxes. Hmm? Well, and I think I and also, I will rich. say that kind of right. hurts. Like, now that man, I'm getting older, it does make me cringe that, yeah. that I don't need a man. And I used to be that bro. Um, but <laughs> I feel like, you know, as we get older, Equally, we both need each other. Absolutely. And yeah, I don't facts. think that anybody should be saying that they don't need shit because it's not a flex no more. And I think that, and I think also too, like the goal is like, okay, both of us working. Where are we going with this shit? Are we going word, to never have to work again? Or we got them just about to be working? Because that ain't for me personally, why I'm saying I do 
I, I'm not mad at my girl working because I'm the type of nigga like we gonna be strategizing on some shit every day. Every like, day. what are we Correct. buying? What's the assets we getting? Because guess what? The goal is always for me. This me personally is just freedom. Yeah, not to be working. Yeah. Babe, you want to go to Mexico for tomorrow? Yep. You want right. to go do this tomorrow? You yep. want to go fly over to Italy? Let's go shopping. Yeah. Like yep. those are the and and. You get to do those things while you're working, but the goal is to just be able to be, like live. Just do what you want to do. Yeah. It's just yeah. say fuck right. it. You know what I'm saying? It, and you might look, well, no, even if you a million dollar nigga and you doing that and you a ball player, you still going to work every day. Mm -hmm. You still gotta go to work. Yep. But I think the goal is to get to that point to or for everybody that didn't doing. make it to the league, some niggas need to get with their girls and build some shit so they can be like old boy in the league you know what i'm saying yeah and i agree i mean i'm, I'm with building yeah i just like i said i just want all blacks all black and women brown to yeah we just need to all go to a town hall meeting and come <laughs> with all all ears open all hearts clear and be open to what people are saying because Correct. i think there's just such a big disconnect in our community with mm -hmm. marriages relationships like mm -hmm. it's just it's just so oh like People just really stuck in their own ways or not open enough to want to be like, okay, let me see this person from from this lens or this side of the of the of the fence. First, yeah, because people just think it's their way and it's only their way. Yeah. Man, I and think people also don't think of they trauma. We need mm -hmm. to start, and that's, yeah, that's a true. that's a big thing too. That's, because a marriage that's, that, that's the bigger issue. And then in marriage, sometimes you don't even know that person has those traumas until certain situations Ooh, surface. Be so right. about it. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying like it takes a lot yeah, it does right. people change people grow and are you able to deal with the change and the growth and going are we able to communicate through the change and the growth yes, are we able to grow through the communication y'all go growth? get therapy with y'all significant it. others I, I would yeah, be therapy 10 is toes necessary. down by it and I think also couples need to do separate therapy yeah. because Absolutely. as your individual you're growing separately that's, from your partner and right, that's right. what I mean as far as gr people grow yeah. that sometimes they grow apart, apart. Mm -hmm. yeah. one person may not be growing and the other one is and that creates dissension in, yep. through Absolutely. our relationship and, and, Absolutely. I, I, and I'll put this on men too though we have to learn our value outside of what you said monetary because that's what it is, and, and I think that that's some of the that's probably one of the biggest downfalls of like black men too. Because mm. you're already the enemy in every in every other arena in the world, it's our, and money is of the power for y'all. And it's I mean you know, and it's good to be a black man with money. That's great. It's amazing, but that is not the end all be all. And that's not sometimes that's not. And it, well, if your money is what's attracting a woman, you don't want that woman. That if she's only right. attracted to you for your money, that's not who you want. Mm. And I think men have to understand that because they get so wrapped up in what's and the being, lustful eye. But the lustful they also eye has to be valued outside of monetary too. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't well, feel like the emotional but security, but emotional gain, like the like the support. Physical, the support. Like I feel, mm, I feel like that's the big. That, I feel like the things that men do like build shit. <laughs> like that's not celebrated. Like absolutely, man, that can go back that. In the, and build you a whole patio. Yeah, like yeah. Or, or do shit like that. They ain't really like celebrated like that. It's like Time. It, it's it's really like. <laughs> Yo, like what's up? This camera's not staying on no more. It's, it's completely off. off. It's probably your part battery. Could be the battery. The battery probably did this time. Every time I cut it on, um, it go right back off. Hold on, before we y'all had one battery or two. Well, well, just one. Is, is it the same battery as mine? Take your charger out. Cause I was gonna say maybe one. I got another battery. Was Plug it up and see if it does. <laughs> the lumber man. Yeah, you know, I gotta go get another battery for uh, the Bronny it, boy. It, it, it ain't celebrated on, on Instagram. Oh, I ain't trying to be funny, but that's what it needs to be. Just, and that's why all these niggas think oh, they gotta like. What Instagram? What you need? <laughs> Wait, no, what's, no, not no, no. what's not celebrated no. on Instagram? I, I don't need it. And see, they talk about women that want. It's not about being validated. What I'm saying is, I don't know. Hear me out. Let me finish. <laughs> what I'm saying is, okay, for, for average 20, for, for the average 17, 18, 19, 20, I'm talking to the young folks. They're looking at it. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out, bro. Hear me what I'm saying. People like me. I'm, I'm finna switch the subject for a second, but it's going to kind of like correlate with what I'm saying. So if you the average 17, 16, 17, 18, 19 year old girl, what are you looking at on Instagram? I'm, sure. I'm, looking, at, I'm looking at probably... Jada Waiter, honestly. I'm just putting her name out there. So if you're looking at that, that's what you're glorifying. Now, 
She's with the biggest rapper. We, okay, little baby. That life is being glorified. Again, BBL is doing this, doing all that. Everything you paid for, you ain't got to pay for nothing. It's being provided. That's what, that's what's being promoted is what I'm saying. What should be promoted is the niggas that can build from scratch, that can goddamn change a light bulb, know how to change a tire, can goddamn... The functional the, stuff. The, the, the shit that really matters, the shit that you really care about, like the shit that you ain't got to call your daddy for. Mm -hmm. Like That's not being promoted. What's being promoted is you ain't got to pay for nothing. And you know what I'm saying? Like you just come as you are. Like I bust it open for a Birkin bag. And I bust it open for a Birkin bag. Instead of saying that's I bust terrible. it open for you that's can build this horrible. shit in my backyard. Like that that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that right. goes but, but we all following the we all following the same rules in the spiritual world. It's like that's what's on there. Some people don't. And a lot of, I mean, and we all listening to the same wrist of shit that's on the radio. Yeah, that's those. Those are the same themes that are. Yeah, you can't avoid that. When you get off work at five o'clock, you just, you turn on V one hundred three. Sex is on. And we yeah, gotta realize to the radio. Radio. Okay. Okay. You talking about the average person? Right? Yeah, I'm talking the average. Person. Yeah, the yeah. average person. We not the average motherfucker. If you're allowing either. music, if you're allowing sexy red them to influence. Oh, they are. Your they, entire they, life. They're definitely upset that That's she went to problem. high school and went to somebody running high school and performed outside and then, high school. Yeah, they kicked her out because she was. Yeah. No, I she had like weed. kids coming out there. She, no, she smelled like weed. Yeah, like like she probably pulled us from weed. And you know, your ass going, going to high school, school don't need to be like pulling that. up to the school smelling like fucking weed. That's and a fact. What the hell? Like, hold on, hold on, that's hold on. my thing. That's they another thing that they're trying to normalize that not, shit, and there's nothing normal she, when she about that. Came it's not okay. I don't know if you remember it, that it was also people, uh, teachers were mad. Well, people were mad on Instagram because they picked her to come to a pet rally, mm -hmm. and they felt like her music was too explicit. It is to be. absolutely but, sexy red shit. But, but who's making that decision all. to bring her to a pet yeah, rally? Nobody should have brought her. But that's, I mean, that's a. Top official, they ain't the kids saying, right, "Hey, I want that's sexy red." Yeah. That's the principal <laughs> saying, "Hey, all right, cool, we cool with sexy red coming on, and we gonna listen about." Yeah, that's about, wild about. for it's it's wild for them to even. What school was that? Yeah, principal. It was. I don't know what, what school city, it was. What state? It was, it was what? in Georgia. It's in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Was, really. She came to high school. Of course, you know we went the bullshit. Okay, right? Everybody, in the gym, <laughs> we are unhinged. Here. They going crazy. The kids can go crazy for sexy red. It's just what it is. Like, yeah. cause they listen to that when they're not in school, and they listen to that. They listen to it at school in the hallways. So it's like, yeah, but it's like. It's yeah. not. Some of the teachers might be playing it too. Hmm. I, I did. I, I did listen to Trina and Lil Kim. So. <laughs> but what about? And guess yeah. what? That message was around then. They was talking that same shit. They, Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj. I need that bag. And you can get that. And then ass. also, like the, the kids didn't have as much access to that type of stuff back then. Yeah, it was. It was you, no you had to see it on TV, or it wasn't Instagram. It wasn't. I can look at it. You know, or even I follow this person and see what and they're see doing on a daily basis. To them. No, yeah. yeah. So I just think times are different. It is. And you had to ask your mom because really you watch 106 in part. Yeah, it's really up no, to I the parents. To that. That. To but like, I did have to sneak to watch like certain things. Uncut. Uncut. You're right, I was about to say, uh, oh, oh yeah. I, oh, you wake up. Flavor love. That's crazy. When you, back in that day, you used to wake up the past and wake up at two in the morning. Screaming in the street with the infomercial. Ah, so I mean, about six that's when the TV used to cut off. Too. <laughs> yeah. cut off. That shit used to just cut off. Yeah, it yeah. used to just be, yeah, that's just crazy. Static. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. It used to not be anything that came on. Like, it no was broadcast. between that three to four o'clock, three to five o'clock hour. Like, it was nothing that came yeah. on TV. Either that or 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 they give you all the ass you want to see, then they give you a preacher. To goddamn, he used to repent. Get your, get your, so you yeah, can repent, repent and then you from go the to bed. Drill. All right, repent from the tip drill. Wait a minute. Go uh, to bed. So wait, nobody watch real sex? Yes. I watch real sex. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I watch that. That's crazy. No, no, no. I had to find out from the streets. Yeah, most and most people. Most of our kids, that's how they find out in the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, find out, they find out on TikTok. The hard yeah. way. Ain't nobody really talking about the birds and the bees. No, I've never nah. had that conversation. Not for real. Not an. Ain't nobody send you yeah. down talking about. Let's talk yeah. about. Sex. My mom no. had it with me, but it was like it was real half ass. Yeah. I think. Yeah, my mom literally told me, uh, I don't know if you fucking or not, but you gonna get on birth control before you right. go to college. <laughs> that was her way she of was saying like, you're not bringing no baby in this house. Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> don't bring no child in here while you in college. See, so I don't know about y'all, but when I was in school, I actually had sex education. We did. Yeah. We, we did. did. We did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That shit water down. Hey, what do y'all think about? It was only like seven days of in What do y'all think about like the sex education in the school now? Like, they're not you know, they do. They don't do it. No, in some they schools, do. yes, they do. They do. In they do. some schools, they do like same sex. 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? Oh, they're doing the gay yeah, shit? It's, yeah. it's very oh, wow. non-binary. Well, I mean, whatever. times have times have cha- are yeah. changing. They're showing like man, boy to boy, man. I mean, man to man, like. They yeah, showing bus sex? Absolutely. Send home permission. With the yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's all, all I'm this, saying. Like, Send like, home the permission. Pro, the, pro, the pro, like, they added more pronouns. Like it's like if you were what? It's like yeah, they showed them. Yeah. And even with they the like how they would teach you uh, teach us how to like put the condom on. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, they do all that we same really shit for the boy, look up, boy to boy shit. Some of these teachers are like whatever, man. They like they put that in they in in they plan. Like I'm finna show y'all because some I don't I don't seen a couple of them like. I seen a, I seen a parent that was upset because she felt like her 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 teacher of her son or daughter or whatever was teaching like the the transgender pronouns and all that but stuff. He, yeah, they have to though. In some of the schools, and, and they, they have like, to. They Today they have you to. Have to. You because have to. You because have to. if it not, it was the whole thing with um the parents going crazy on the school. Yeah. Because they kids was in the same school with the um and they were teaching same sex. But wow. you have to. Education. You have to. If not, yeah. they gonna stumble across it and be curious. Right anyway. here in the A, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. times have just changed. It's just different, honestly. Times. It's just yeah. it's, you, you got it, or you just keep your. Um, I think now, but they send the thing home to let you know, like this is what we're gonna be talking about. Right. We're gonna be doing well, sex is, education all, tomorrow. As a parent, you can so, you can yeah. ask for. So if you want your child involved in it, you can. If not, you have a conversation with them yeah, on your own. But right. yeah, I mean that's definitely keep a thing. I have to um like with me being in mental health in the middle school, like this is the era where a lot of kids are starting to like transition or. You may have like your gay girls are dressed like boys, look very masculine, that type of thing. And I have to be very con- now. I don't necessarily have any kids at my school that do. I have one child that does um, pronouns, but um, anybody that does identify as gay, they're just pretty much you know yeah. her. Yeah. She, yeah, no, no, she, her, and he, him. Nobody is changing their pronouns, but, but one, like, but I'm one student. Gay. Yes. I have one that has that you have to identify her. Are they as, a trans? Oh, excuse me. They is it, and is it a transgender though? Do you feel they like them or, is not a transgender? But I think that they them is like trying to androgen. Yeah, androgen yeah. Going uh, they on. them they, has they to use a, a non-binary yeah. bathroom. Or yeah. Oh, so y'all got that? That got I one. have one. Or in between. Right, that's so that's you, know, you know, when I say non-binary, it's just the bathroom that doesn't say man it's or the, woman. It's the one with the man and the woman on the side. Yeah. You yeah, can go in and eat a whore. Now, I seen the one family with the bathroom. with, with yeah, the kids, man and woman. Like, you know, the one where you could change the family, family bathroom. bathroom. Family yeah. bathroom. But now mm-hmm. they going to have the transit to bathroom or the... I don't yeah. The question mark. No, that, that, that that's that. the whole... That's a big beef that's going on, too. Like, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how I feel about that. Because they're saying that if... In the, the school, it's crazy for the men to be able to in go general, into the women's honestly. bathroom, like yeah. so. They having a whole like, but see, I think something in North Carolina somewhere, one of those buildings they, they were that building. Law. They, they that was, yeah, and they yeah. were fighting. A lot of people were fighting it too because if a man is in a women's bathroom, like all women not gonna be comfortable, comfortable with that. With you that, know what I'm saying? Right. And vice versa. You and know see, what I'm the thing is, the sick ass world we that we live in, it can get, mm. it can get deep. Yeah, you know, people can go in and not even be transgender and just go in the men. All right, that's and that's the part that like you have. That's the part that gets scary. And then yeah. he's looking at. Yeah, that's the part that gets scary. Time. Right. 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 right, right. That's where it gets weird at. Right. For sure. So, uh, that's my mom, y'all. See what that Hi, mom. That's that is not your mom coming in looking like that. Yeah, right. That's your mom. <laughs> wow! Hi, mom. Hey, mom. Got them legs up. Mom, mom is doing real, it. Mom? Yeah. yeah. Period, mom. Hey, what's up? You want to say what's up? She. she come on, let him see you, mom. Come on, come on, come on. Get in here, look mom. amazing. Hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, this is Nigel's mom. This is my mom, y'all. Y'all say what's up to my mom. Serving hey, super mama. black girl magic. <laughs> <laughs> Serving black girl magic. I know that's right. right. Uh, um, we don't this, necessarily have to go in there. I mean, I think we did fairly it. well on that. You want to keep it on there? The mirror. Yeah, that's sibling. Yeah, we can. I don't, I don't got a... <laughs> she like want, that sibling shit. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can end it. Okay, that's fine. You want to go to the BC corner? You got something? Um, yeah, clean your colon. <laughs> <laughs> Detox. Hot, 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 that should have been hot. Topic. DC's corner. Clean your yeah, damn corner. colon. Yeah, for real. So a lot of y'all don't know that a lot of sicknesses and diseases and all the other stuff. Sitting right in the intestine. Yes, yes. It starts from the colon because in the villa. a lot of the years that y'all been eating McDonald's and Wendy's and shit, that shit, it's sitting on, it sits on your colon, right? So what happens is 
when you don't clean your colon, all this, all the bacteria and stuff that's on your colon, it goes to your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. When it goes to your bloodstream, that's when you start getting these illnesses mm -hmm. and all these things that the doctor says, oh, you need this pill. You need He's that pill. You need that pill. So now you're taking 10 pills and it's making your condition worse. So when cleaning I, colons look like or you need to do. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Dreams. Just like from time to time. You know, just fat, man. Just I fasting. think everybody, man, look, you want to do yourself a service like my boy was saying, clean your colon. A great way to do that is, man, stop eating. Mm. Okay, hold on. You got, let we me gotta start. Let me ask you. Wait, 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 wait. Go a little deeper. We gotta me, really start adding fasting into our. Let me ask lifestyles. a very realistic question. Though. Yes. If you mentally cannot fast, because it takes a lot to be able to fast and literally not eat, right? Right, right. So if you can't, if you're not there yet, right? What do you do in the process? Is What's it upping? The, steps? Is it upping the fiber intake and not eating meat? Is it because there's steps? Everybody can't just go cold turkey and not eat. That's an absolute truth. So I I think there are levels to fasting, right? And I think there are, are different like steps you can take, right? So I'll give you this: you can do something I feel like most people sh can probably do is a raw food fast. We talking about front. We, so some people do more extended, like I mean, more crazier things like just water, right? Is that the first step? No, that's not the first step. No, I'm, I got you. <laughs> so you don't want to do water. That's kind, of, you know, what I'm saying if that's your first time fasting, because that's gonna be tough, right? Mm -hmm. Just drinking <laughs> juices, that's gonna be tough, yeah. right? Juice, yeah. but I think something that's something that could be easy for people. If, if we're talking about fasting, is yes, raw food fasting, and I do think it's. But I for somebody with diabetes, okay? They got diabetes. Somebody that has diabetes that's eating. Right. Well, yes. What I'm saying is the real it, some of that's that some of that is not sustainable for everyone, right? Right, right, right. off bat. Right. So is it just eliminating certain food? So I, I think it's eliminating so certain foods. Fasting and adding from certain, certain foods things first. Too, and adding certain things too. Because a lot of times with a lot of these not diseases, fiber it is stuff. also what BC talking about, but it's also the food he's talking about eating mm -hmm. don't got no nutrition in it. So a lot of these diseases too is because your body is just you mal you look big and health like you you know what I'm saying. But you're you, it's but not you're, you're mal yeah you don't have no nutrients running through your system either. So that causes disease in the body or disease in the body as well because. Mm -hmm. With the food, that type of food he was talking about, that's dead food. It don't got nothing in it. Right. The processed stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has nothing yeah. in it. So, so eliminating, that's what I mean. Eliminating though. the Just processed food. Just for someone food, who's never fasted before, more, eliminate your processed foods first. Yes. Try that first yes. for 7 to 14 days. Right. And then you can get into the more extreme, like a raw food diet because- a lot of people don't, and you don't eat even raw have foods to do, at all. And you don't even is, have to go that hard. You can just do... Man, some people do like... You ever heard this thing called raw till four? Where they just eat all... all kind of like intermittent... Raw foods. Almost like intermittent, intermittent fasting. Like intermittent fasting, yeah. right. But you're just mm -hmm. eating raw fruits and vegetables until your evening meal. Where just you might to reset have a cooked your meal, system. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so many levels. You know what I'm saying? If you need some work or some some help with that, like, man, reach out to me. I'll help you out I'll, with I'll that. I'll be reaching you know out what I'm saying? Like I can, cause it's but she's right though. Everybody can't do a raw food. Yeah, fast. I mean because Everybody I think it's can't about being. I fast. think changing your lifestyle is really about. We make it cold when we speak about it. We make it a lot of cold. We make turkey it sound stuff. like it's cold and it's turkey. not right. Because it's, it's not. It don't have to the, be that way. The average person that doesn't do what we do that right. is not sustainable. Right. And so we have to figure out the problem is figuring out. How can I do this in a sustainable manner to where I can continue to do it? Yeah. So yeah, and I don't mentally check out think, mm -hmm. ahead of time before I even try. Try to do it because yeah. it just sounds too hard. Right, right. I get it. You know so, what I mean? It's different levels to it. Yeah. So there are ways you can do that, but I mean that would be we gonna go another hour or two <laughs> <laughs> for real because it's a lot of ways you can do that. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of ways you can do that, but I think. Just going back to what BC said, a great way to do that is eliminate them processed foods, all that that fast food shit. Mm -hmm. Like that shit is terrible. And a great way to eliminate processed foods is um, when you go to the grocery store, start in the produce section, right? Yes. Anything that's packaged that you got to tear open, yes, that's processed, on it. Mm -hmm. right? That's processed. That's a fact. It has and to be preserved, right? And if you're gonna go with packaged foods, right? Look look at the label, right? And learn to read a label. Learn it's to read so a label. Important. I know it's hard for a lot of y'all to read, but read, <laughs> read the label, bro. And you want to go with the things with the least ingredients. Ingredients, yes. If the they got all this shit that you can't the... pronounce, carbon monoxide, two yeah. time, 
<laughs> Even the no sugar, no fat stuff, because those are the those are really the ones that you have to look out for. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Or so, natural flavors. Right. Anything you see that's with natural trick. flavor, that's, that's that? bullshit. Because that's that's what is that? Yeah, yeah. What's that, the natural, natural flavor? flavor? That natural yeah. flavor shit is a trick. It's Don't the fall for it. it's the, it's the Propaganda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact. If it's raspberry flavor and it says natural flavors, I guarantee you it's bean or bean. That is the natural flavor that makes that raspberry flavor. Yeah. Wow. You're right. She's right. That's crazy. Sample eliminate. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon killer. 22 grams of I said this sugar. last episode, bro. Anything that says natural flavors ain't natural. Yeah, you, know, you did say don't, don't fall for the okie doke, y'all. Yeah, so with like what Ashley was talking about, man, one thing you could do is start replacing some of these, the things that you're eating. Like, okay, so let's say you wake up in the morning at McDonald's and you're getting the Mick, whatever it is, breakfast sandwich. And McGriddle. The, and the McGriddle or whatever it is. Like, replace that and do this on a regular with a smoothie. That's a perfect change you can make. Or have you a juice or start your or day off with some Or just go get an English muffin. It's change it from a biscuit with butter well, see, on the it problem with our to people, an English muffin. I'm, I'm going to even go past that. Like, we got to go a little... We, our people, we sick, bro. So the exactly. English... Yeah, man, people need to add muffins, on whole foods. Them, man, fuck whole that muffin, foods. man. I'm telling you, you need some whole, whole food. Foods. You need some, man, fuck a muffin. Eat an apple, bro. Eat I a, agree, eat. but I'm saying like everybody doesn't have, well, they have Because access, most people eat but everybody way too doesn't much bread. Understand so if you're going to have that muffin in the morning, I what get, else you going to eat? I get eat? that much. So what's the next meal? Muffin in the morning, then what? I might have a salad for lunch. I got fiber okay. for lunch. Okay. What I'm saying, I'm not. I don't get caught up in the carb issue of it, right? No, it's not a carb. I'm it's, thinking it's not the carb. I'm part, just though. thinking the healthier alternative to mm. something because some people don't That's have substitute. access. Some people don't know. Some people don't. So Kroger's on every corner. Period. Yeah. Well, and I think it's she, about I, you guys. Saying, it's about being. Right? It's gotcha, about right. being Easing sustainable. Being being able to ease into where then once you hit what one works level, you. Then it goes okay, some people say, can't afford so that's that's right two. now to go a, on, completely I'm organic, I'm completely go, bro, vegan, apples completely is two ninety nine. Grapes, uh, grapes is eight dollars. Instead of having bread and meat for breakfast. Have that in the evening or the afternoon. Start. I'm saying start your day off with fruit. Exactly. It's a yes. great way to start cleaning start out that. your system. Absolutely. We, we know about, that. We but does the it. do the but masses that's know that? That's what I'm talking about. about. We, we, talked about the masses. we talked about it um, earlier. You disagree with me when I was saying that eating healthy is expensive. It's nah. very expensive. I definitely disagree with you. Yeah. I disagree as well. He disagree with me It is that. expensive. Hey, you can, go buy, you can go buy a motherfucking pound of sweet potatoes for $5. You know what you can do with that? You can do a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, you can do a lot. A lot of things. You can do a lot of things. I'm just but saying. Do, but but the also, average... You having a full plate of fucking mac and cheese, grease, so what we need to bread. Be, what we need to be preaching is the outlets to find out how to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't know to do that. Everybody that's is why not going to That's why we talking about it, yeah. Uh, uh, right, yeah. but the people that are watching, oh, you, right. you got to right. find something sustainable. It's not so easy for them to switch. So, to, so mm -hmm. that's why I'm saying if you... You start your day off with fruit versus any type of like breads or you should meats definitely start or cheeses. Off with this is a this is sustainable. Stuff. Like I just how hard make, is it to eat an apple orange in the morning? How hard is it? Or a smoothie? It's, it's not. Hard. It's a mental thing for people. Thank that you. the mental switch has to happen first. Y'all are used. All I'm saying is we are used, used to, to doing that. But also, gotta, so, I mean, so, also too, you have to look at it. You all are now at the y'all are at the final piece of you. Right. But that's how I started. Right. But that's how I started so, out. I didn't just jump into veganism. I yeah. didn't just jump into being plant based. And I that's all eliminated I'm things is, slowly and surely right. out of my system. Right. So instead of I mean, eating, that's, what she that's just all said. I'm saying. That's what it's, I'm saying. It's a sustainable like way to do it. You didn't, you didn't and I'm giving advice from vegan. that moment, mm -hmm. not now who gotcha. I am now. I'm gotcha. giving you advice from when I first started. Gotcha. I I changed my breakfast. That was one of the first things I started doing. Cause that's the most important shit. Like yeah, what right. you put in your body when you first wake up. Yeah, it's the most important. Yeah. A lot of people don't even eat breakfast. No, they don't. Yeah. Bro, you know how I many of my clients come to me working out they and they be like, "Hey, yeah." I'm like, "What?" Yeah, yeah, I have. And, and, and that's why you're not losing weight because your metabolism is thrown. That's the first thing I think about. I need to make sure I get to the let, gym me, let me talk about that too. Right? It's a misconception, right? Y'all, you gotta more, eat. To the more speed up your the more obese people, right? Y'all think that. Not eating is going to make you lose weight. No. no. What happens is you trick. Hold on to the fat. You're body. tricking your body. Your now your body's saying, okay, your body's going into defense mode, or we're starving. So now let's yes. store this fat for energy. That's yeah. what's happening. I'm, you need to eat more. You're going to lose more weight. 
You want to lose weight, eat more. And for the people that say think they can't eat of the right things. the break the, yes. the the the, the uh, fruits and vegetables um, and be full or eating more whole foods and being full, you got to eat more of that food. You yeah, got to eat more of, water. of it. It's going to make you full. You, you'll you get full. You just got to eat more of it. Because people are like, oh, I did. I had the fruits. I had the... But I just... I'd be, still be hungry. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, one, your body just... It's, it's cravings, number one. Mm-hmm. It ain't that... You're not hungry. You're dehydrated and your body is craving the bullshit you mm-hmm. didn't that mm-hmm. you usually have. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Or you so got you too much sugar in your more. system and your GLP ones are not working properly. Talk they're talk. telling you you're hungry and you're really not hungry. Talk that talk. So, yeah, we gotta have like yeah, a whole we can get deep. On this. <laughs> we can get deep on it, but. Absolutely, I. So I I get a little transparent with you guys. I have a condition called PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Mm. Polycystic ovarian syndrome has flipped my life upside down as a, Mm. as a health advocate. Right. Um, There are, there's, there are ways to reverse it depending on which type of PCOS you have. I've been told that my A1C was high. I don't eat a whole lot of sugar. Right. Mm. Come to find out it was my coffee. Mm. Not even realizing that how, it was processing through my body, my GLP one. I'm thinking I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And I wasn't, um, I think that, but the one thing that I was, that helped me was getting that blood work done and seeing all of my levels and seeing what nutrients I was missing, what nutrients I wasn't getting, making sure that I'm getting enough pro let's talk about that too. make sure that you get enough protein within an hour of waking up in order to keep your blood levels, your glucose levels, proper you need to be getting at least 30 grams of protein within the first hour of waking up Mm. that's gonna change your life why because it's satiating you don't have as many cravings throughout the day you don't have because it sits with you Mm -hmm. and it gives you the nutrients that you need but i think blood work if you're having any type acne weight gain i'm dieting i'm working out but i still can't figure out what's going on my i'm losing hair i'm stressed i have really bad anxiety and I don't know why you need to get your blood levels checked because your blood levels will tell you your body's going to tell you exactly what it needs. But these doctors, when you go to the doctor's office, they're not telling you, let's do blood work. Mm-hmm. You have to go in and basically tell them, do my fucking blood work. Today. You have to be mine. your own advocate. Yeah. And you have to ask them for that the, those levels because they sometimes, don't like to do it either. They don't like to no, take your blood they don't. A lot. They don't. We because at that point you kind of might not need them no more. But go yeah. ahead. Well, I mean, <laughs> but but at the same oh, time, yeah, at the same time, they're to trying to, to get medicine. Yeah. They're trying to get billed, yeah. m- get paid. Every time them. I go to the doctor's office, it still doesn't make sense to me why I have a pa- have to pay for a follow up. Yeah, like it just you know what I mean. Like you saw me one time, we know what the issue is. Yeah, but now I have to pay a forty dollar copay to come see you again to tell me how I'm doing. That's crazy. Just make sure that when you do go, you're going to the doctor, but get your, get your blood work and do the research on what these things are. So you know what your body needs and what it does, what you need to purge. That's the easiest way to get your body back right on a cellular level. We're not talking about just how you feel. It starts with the cells. Period. Blood work. This sounds some shit I ain't never seen. What is that? Hold on. Look, look at that. It's on? But look what it's saying. Oh, I see what it's saying. Hold on. What it say? Like, Hurry up, dog. <laughs> He's like, mm. I gotta use it again. God damn it! That's them Jada Riddles. A nutrition and dietitian. Dietitian. I don't ask no more questions. So a primary care phys- a primary care physician can most definitely help you out with that. Go, go ahead and go. She's um, gonna depend on the individual while she talks. Your gynecologist can most definitely help you out with that. Um, PCOS is more hormonal. So I would most definitely want to go to someone like a gynecologist or an OB that can actually read hormonal levels. Doctors can read hormonal levels too, but they're not going to. Yeah. Yeah. Your your primary care. But yeah, definitely get you. You can look into a dietitian. They can also help you with that. It's, it comes down to diet. You can reverse a lot of this stuff 
with your diet. Period. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not eating the right things. Sometimes you're just not getting enough of other things. The nutrients. Right. Mm -hmm. So with my situation, I was just fluctuating in weight a lot. And I didn't understand why. I don't do a lot of sugar. I'm not doing any unhealthy saturated fats. I'm not doing. But I had a whole bunch of symptoms that I just didn't. Understand. I didn't understand why it was happening. Mm. I y'all, you know, I work out a lot. I I'm gonna ask you this too. What uh, well, how did you find out about that? So that, what that you was dying on? So for me, I missed the cycle. I, in my my so journey, my journey with PCO, <laughs> my no, I knew I wasn't pregnant, but my journey with PCOS has been been wild. I got diagnosed at first at 14 years old. And back then, the first thing that they did, and the only thing really that they did was put me on birth control. Mm -hmm. And what birth control does is it covers up. It, it gives you progesterone, which is what you're missing, Possibly, uh, you know. Well, what do they tell you? They say it's going to regulate your it's hormones. It's going to regulate your hormones because yeah. they're giving you the actual synthetic hormone to replace yeah. what, you're what you're not missing. getting, like right? So fake it's just ass vitamins in your milk. Right, it, exactly. So it's just masking the symptoms. It's taking away the cramps. And it may not be, you know, missing a period. It may not be facial hair. It may not be like, it could literally just be heavy periods or painful periods and you don't know why this is happening um so i just think that like i said that blood work is really gonna get have you allow you to figure out exactly what's going on so that you can take the steps to heal because it's about a healing internally your hormones are constantly gonna change right i'm getting older so i understand why my mine are changing um but the, it came along with a lot of symptoms that didn't seem right. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I had like higher testosterone levels, higher, you know, I work out, I live heavy ass weight. That's why I have higher testosterone levels. I can lift, lift heavier weight, but it came into, once I got my diet together, I started to see things level out and it takes time. It really does. But it took me to go to four or five different doctors as well to figure it out mm -hmm. because the first thing they want to do is put you on birth control. Mm -hmm. So after the first being on birth control for up until I had my son, which was, I was like in 2015, mm -hmm. um, after pregnancy, I was fine. Of course, my hormone levels leveled themselves, themselves all the way out. Um, it wasn't until last September of last year where I skipped a period and knew I wasn't pregnant where I was mm -hmm. like, what the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. Something's not right. When a woman is not having a period, something's wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, even on birth control. Yep. Um, and so I had a, too. Mm -hmm, I had an IUD after my son, which was long-term birth control for people who don't know what mm -hmm. the IUD is. Um, and I was on it for about six years. And then when I had it replaced, they put me on a lower dosage, a lower hormonal dosage. And then I have it, started having some crazy symptoms. And I thought it was the actual brand. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, they just put me on a lower doses of birth control. So the hormones that my body actually needed was given to me in the first one. But when they put me on a lower dosage, I wasn't getting what Get I enough. needed. So symptoms started to mm. flare. And I was concerned about that. So when I went to the doctor and explained everything that I was going on, they, I, I made them do blood thorough blood work. Because you ask for just certain things. They'll just give you five or six different tests. And I know I got a sheet full. Mm. And I was able to go through and figure out why, what was going on, what I needed, what I don't need. Blood work is serious. Go get your blood work done and let them read your blood work back to you. Yeah. And then if the doctors are not willing to do what they need to do, go find a dietitian to help you get where you need to be. Because I agree with you. It's all about diet. That's it, man. Everything we do. I don't even think we can talk about mental health until we start talking about the food we putting in our, the mm -hmm. chemicals that we putting in our body. Like, how do you, I just don't even understand how we have like mental health conversations, but we eating Donuts and shit that mm -hmm. got all this shit in it, or drinking these red colorful drinks that got all these chemicals in it, and don't think your mental health gonna be a little mm -hmm. bit off. You know what I'm saying? So before we can talk about mental health, we gotta talk about what we're putting what in we're putting body. in our temple, what man. We're that Period. Brain. Like that's even man, everything. Don't forget about them hot Cheetos. That red man, red all forty, that, right? Red. That red Please number forty, the red yellow 40, number red thirty. That's my line of shit, though. Like, I think you just love that shit, bro. Regardless. <laughs> Um, what I, what I want to say though before we end everything though, um, 
I think that this is very important, and this is something that I kind of wanted to bring to our show anyway, um, just uh, outside of like what's going on in the world, but just making sure that everybody is healthy the other day. Um, because uh, we, we all know statistics shows that men, I mean, women live longer than men. Mm -hmm. And I think that has a lot to do with how we, like we said, how we exercise, what we eat, how we go about our day. I feel like um, women are more on it on top of it than we are. Right. Um, and that's why um, we're happy to have y'all on the show because this kind of helps us kind of like- um, And it's different too, not to cut your wisdom, but you know, yeah. with black men and white men, like yeah. black men care, we carry a lot of stress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We holding on to a lot of, we I walk around say, very- like, yeah. Black people in general, we need to really step it up as far as nutrition goes because it's us and how We've been raised what our grandparents were cooking, what our parents were cooking. Um, and so that stuff was cool general, for them, right. but you ain't getting the same know, chicken your grandma had. Right, it's different now. You know why? Because um, the bacon they was eating and the cows they was eating was really just eat, only eating grass. I right. mean, honestly, just just speaking after COVID with the short supply chain, mm. you got to watch what you're eating. This stuff is not the same as it was two, even two, three years ago. So, Man, we got to have each other back. And so yes. Not even just talking about health, but just in general. Like we were talking about earlier with the relationship stuff, like all of this coincide with each other. Like I feel like it's too much against each other and not competition and it's competition not over just camaraderie it's, instead of camaraderie right yeah yeah and i yeah. feel like with the camaraderie it goes down well, to how we live in relationships how we eat how we consume things how we spend time with each other um a lot of times i feel like we be forgetting we, we so busy about what we got going on individually that we, that we forget about the people that help raise us or help put us in position mm. um even with like we talked about last time about last week about with days passing like um just overlooking small things small details even come down to like just sending a text like right we right. kind of like so much against each other that we don't really like help each other to the point where we're okay with giving advice without Feeling like it's something that stepping some, on somebody's toes, stepping on somebody's toes, or, or that everybody's against us because you telling me I need to be eating healthy. Right, right, now I feel right. Like you ain't fucking with me for real. Right, or right, right. You trying Take to say it. some yeah, shit, yeah. other shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like we just be so like combative with shit that we don't really be taking them lessons and just like it's we cool. Need to like me. Yeah, man. I think everybody <laughs> you should walk in. Need to be talked about at the town hall. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Mental health. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Like, right. everything. Cause we all together at the end of the day. Like we don't. I don't. I don't see at least six, seven people die this month. Man, straight famous up. Famous or not famous. Yeah, straight up. Same. Like, it's same. actually From been the really, OJs to, really to crazy. To the Dave's, to the, my auntie, to whoever. Like I'm just seeing them dropping in there. And mm -hmm. when I see who, it really, it really don't hit me. So I go to people funerals. And when I be at funerals, I don't even be thinking about the person that died. I think about myself, mm. the whole funeral. Like, mm. it could be me. Like, yeah. I could be me next. We just talking it's about- It's crazy. When we, 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 we left Dave, when we like, left um, Dave's funeral, rest in peace Dave, man, like, we were sitting in the restaurant talking about my boy, you know, one of my, my close friends, uh, Stack uh, Barry, he been on uh, Banking Them Podcast, Stack of Group, you know what I'm saying? He was like, man- I live by myself. He like, I be thinking about this shit a lot lately. Like, y'all niggas better start calling and checking on me more often, yeah, man. Because if he's like, I need a wife. You know, yeah. he be like, I need a wife. No, seriously. That's, you know, so that's, that's what we talked like about. about. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. that type of stuff comes into play when you get of a certain age and you, you still, start like thinking, like, yeah. if I, if I'm going to be here to help me. Right. right. Or something or just happened to me. Happen that leads something to my death. Because you could be in the house. Legacy, even legacy. Dying. And need the help. And you, you got like a, two hours to get to the hospital. Your life <laughs> could have been saved. Right? You ain't got no life alert. But if you ain't got no wife. Not, not life alert. Or what? if you ain't got no life partner alert. Or, or a partner yeah. or just homies checking up on you on a regular mm -hmm. basis. It's Man. a fact. It's a fact. It's scary. It's hey. something that, you know, I think a lot of people think about. I had a, um, a friend of a friend who's... Um, sister had committed suicide mm. and they was with her that weekend got back she had no up, idea huh the, but the only thing that happened because of the relationship that girl had with her sister she, they call each other every day it was something that was but off she in her. you know she called her and she didn't answer she went, damn. and they went all day without talking to her. she said damn that shit kind of weird like i ain't heard from her so she started 
calling people like, hey, have you heard of so and so yeah. today? And they were like, no, I haven't. So, you know, um, to say all in all, they ended up finding her, but they had to, she had like her, um, you know, you got the little thing that you put up under the door. Mm -hmm. They had to keep the dough in. Like mm -hmm. she, she lived by herself, but all in all to say like people also too, when folks checking in on y'all, take the time yeah, to respond the back. Phone. Yeah, or stop at least put a heart so, on it and yeah, acknowledge stop it. Stop being so consumed in your daily life that you forget to stop. Because I have I have close people that are some of my closest friends. They get very caught up and very consumed in life. There's a time in your day when mm -hmm. you sit and you pause. Mm -hmm. You chill. Mm -hmm. Whether you're looking at your phone, whether mm -hmm. you're looking at TV, you're you're pausing. Mm -hmm. And when people t take the time out of their day to just send you a text and say, hey, thought about you today, just checking, checking up on, on you. How you doing? Respond back. Yeah. Because if you create a pattern of that, those people that continuously extend, yeah, they, they that extend off. that branch, they fall off or... They think it's a normal pattern and you could be up in that house. Dude. Good. Right. Oh, she just, she in a mood. Yeah. She all yeah. right. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you have to really make sure that one thing about me, I think I have a good pattern of if I don't take somebody, like, hold on now. She all right? Yeah. Because you never text me back. Days. Like, I ain't heard from you in a couple. So keep that type of, that, that type of momentum up because when you, when you're always a person that's like removing yourself from the, from the outer eye and you're used to being, to yourself, mm -hmm. but you don't respond to everybody that texts you. They just be like, oh, that's just them. Right. But you could really be mm -hmm. somewhere right. sick, hurt, hurt dead, right. you know, dying, dying something, and right. nobody knows. So Absolutely. yeah, y'all, y'all, that's that's a big, that's a hey, big gym. Check on your people, I'm, man. I'm gonna keep this brief. For yeah, the people that's the people that's in the, that's in y'all friend groups. Y'all got that one friend that you invite to everything, but they don't show up. And then when you don't invite them no more, they get mad because you ain't inviting them to shit. I ain't mad, but keep, I do get invited to shit. Them, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Continue. I'm that friend. Keep inviting me, man. Because keep inviting them. All of me that's keep like, inviting I, I, me, bro. I, I'm going to tell you I know your frustration. I don't <laughs> grow I, I with guys 15 years, bro. And I'm feeling like I'm inviting you to shit. You ain't showing up. Nah, I ain't finna keep inviting you. But keep inviting them because mm -hmm. just because they don't go, don't mean they they they, they don't want to be there. Sometimes they might have Man, obligations life life or life be life. Life be life. And, life they, and they still want to they still want to feel like they involved, involved or they're part of the family. Right. But once you stop inviting them, they they don't you don't want to feel that they feel because like they don't feel like you're with them. Now it's two it's two time it's two. Oh, two times. I'm it's two sides to it because you may feel like because I'm inviting you and you ain't showing up that they ain't fucking with but you. But also too, let's 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 flip on the flip on the other side. Communicate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't don't if I'm inviting you and you're not able to come, communicate Just say, say you that. Can't Amen. Come. You know what I mean? I can't least, do it. You know, I know yeah, I keep flexing. This is this is where those lines have to we have to create yep. healthy it's boundaries it's communication you gotta communicate Period. because like sometimes because people will be like you don't gotta explain no I do have to explain no, you so that to. you know what's yeah, going on I'm please. a big explainer I, I thank you if, for explaining it to me if I'm late you I'm telling you why yes you are Ashley yes I'm you a, are I'm gonna explain I'm gonna yes. communicate <laughs> thoroughly <laughs> okay yeah. so it ain't no business ain't no yeah cause I don't wanna hear no shit afterwards you have to just keep that open line of communication cause I'm definitely that nigga that's not gonna keep inviting you yeah Especially if you don't communicate. Yeah, but sometimes, 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 Damn, uh, like, right, every right, time. Yeah. yeah. Right, definitely, right. You definitely have to keep that communication. Communicate, man. I can, I can keep right. inviting you if I know why you ain't coming. Right. Hey, I know you said, hey, friend, I know you said you weren't going to be able to make the last time. Just wanted to extend the invite. Just we in case. This weekend if you want to fly. Right, right. Yeah. I ain't don't want you to let down either. Take it personal. Don't take it personal. Uh, yeah. Nah, I, that's, that's what it is. The older I get in life, bro, I realize that you shouldn't take shit personal, personal from nobody. Nothing. Because everybody got some shit I'm going on, on, bro. Nothing, bro. People be having shit in their life, bro, and you cannot take that personal. Even the shit you you might be mad at about your parents, like nigga, them they folks that went, the they went, too. nigga, they went through some shit way worse than you could probably yeah. even imagine. Man, they even went through. They just ain't never shared it with you. Facts. You know what I'm saying, like. We have to like you gotta meet niggas where they are. We gotta meet people where they are. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't 
Like even like I know like just to be a little transparent, like I didn't have like issues with my pops a couple times, right? We on a good we all have. vibe right right now, right? But I'm just using my pops. In the, I got plenty of people I could use, but I ain't been on the right vibe with him, right? Sometimes right. in life. But man, we we just he grew up different than me. I have to realize you have that to too. Under, you have to take yourself out of the situation and and really look at the other person's life and say, okay, I just had this conversation with someone. What is it that is Causing them to act this way, right? right. Why are they the, acting this way? Because it's something that happened, and it may not be anything that happened it don't recently. Got, a lot of it's times, it's trauma don't got nothing it to do with you. you, right? It's just a trauma. But you know, another that's thing a skill that I to be able to do. Would say but you got to know how to, yeah. It's in regards to the black community, like I totally agree with meeting people with where they are, but you also. As meeting them where they are, holding them as a standard too, mm-hmm. or dealing with being them the way communi- you, yeah, yeah being okay, able yeah. to communicate, like allow those people to have that open line with you of like, okay, yeah, this is what I dealt with in the past, but there's so much different from moving forward mm-hmm. that you can can start being cognizant of, like knowing that this is what I need to do. Move like just when you have normal conversations and you remember something that somebody says. Someone did tell me that I should, you know, like just having that thought in your mind, like, okay, you know, I understand that, you know, you went through X, Y, and Z and we can continue to work through this and, and build our relationship. But let's try as we move forward. And as this relationship starts to transcend, let's create this now new narrative. Mm. You know, yeah, you went Please through, lay. yeah, you went through what you went through and I'm not taking none yeah, of that yeah, from yeah. you. And I know it makes you who you are. Right. But as we move forward and we continue to elevate this relationship, this is, that's why therapy. Because I'm not that person. It's no, not therapy. You're not it's just that. To keep say me that. on but that. Therapy yeah. Can yeah. Get but that's you why, that, and that's why therapy is so, it's so yes. good because it shows you we all have baggage to unpack. Everything. Trauma is subjective. Right. Your trauma may look completely different than mine. Absolutely. What you tell me your trauma is, I might be like, girl, please. But you know, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's you, trauma it's to you. Yeah, it's, exactly. Yeah, so it's like thing. knowing and understanding where you said meeting people where they are, but also realizing when you have that relationship, picking that person, y'all picking each, picking each other up the, together and going right. to the next steps together and right. holding each other accountable. As you realizing know. too that sometimes you you might be younger, this person might be older, right? Mm hmm. Mentally, they don't mean you, that. They don't, yeah, they don't have the same experience. They grow, right. they grow yep. mentally, yep. so you have to like. Sometimes you just kind of gotta let people be where they at because yep. they're gonna forever always do that and be that. But that's because mentally they stop growing. Yep. And some of us, you, I don't give a damn how old you could be older than me, but that don't mean you're you're smarter than I am. Where you are more aware and yes. more like you know what I'm saying, like. Men- just mentally there like cause some people I, I think I was having a conversation with her uh, one day I was having a conversation with Ash and I was saying man just because that person that don't mean they know you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. you, you a might lot of people that don't know that they don't they, know oh, man that's a grown ass woman yeah. she a, that's a grown ass man yeah. that don't mean they know you have know. no clue how that person yeah. was raised that's you have true. no clue what experiences they went through and you realize and how that other as people... you get older too yeah. you know in your 20s I yeah, think yeah, we all grace. have that mindset of thinking time. everybody knows but as you get on, you be like, damn, you really just... I say all the time, you don't really start I learning anything until so you hit like look, though, 20 or, or, or over 30, that, for real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that be you exactly can. when you have conversations, you be like, like, I don't know. I kept, I ain't going to cap. I kept my, I catch myself doing that sometimes. like, And I, I tell myself, like, it's okay not to be educated in certain spaces. But when you have a conversation about random shit... And you feel like somebody don't know something that they should know. You kind of look at them different instead of looking at it as if that's they might not be in. as. That's what the grace I'm saying. That's why you gotta give people grace because they might not have been educated or they might not have been raised around certain things for them to know. Um, but I just feel like it's just it's just human to like judge. No, and it is, not to, mm-hmm. and not to like it read. Is. Look at really it for pull like back you know what I'm saying. Understand from their POV, their perspective. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, and that again, that takes skill. That takes things like therapy to be able to pull yourself out of a situation because most times we're thinking about self. Mm-hmm. And the ego must Big go. Facts. Yeah, ego must go. Well, y'all, look. Unless first of all, I want to thank both of y'all. We're really all three of y'all running brunch. I want to thank y'all for um, for pulling up. Um, obviously, we hung out plenty of times outside of Absolutely. this but um, I look up to y'all in, in certain ways and I want to let y'all know I'm very appreciative for the advice that you give me on the on the side and also for you know joining the pod and being able to give y'all advice um, on life and everything but I just want to say thank y'all for pulling up 
For sure. Um, Thank you for having for us. For the people that's Please watching, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Um, if y'all if y'all got any questions, please DM us at Unspoken ATL. Uh, once again, we want to thank Running Brunch, Juice ATL, Ashley and Polo. We want Project to thank BC. We want to thank y'all for what y'all do for the community. In the time and yes. Right make sure y'all also follow Running Brunch. Make sure y'all also follow Juice uh, ATL. Two years. Um, with two U's. With two U's. That's right. Yeah, they're going to put it down on the bottom of the screen. But y'all, y'all, we appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for uh, locking in with the best show in Atlanta. We'll holler at y'all next time. And thank man. you, Unspoken Podcast. See oh, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't want to be you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Natural preservatives. If you want your healthy food to last longer. Lemon, limes. Yeah, lemons and limes, yeah. Honey. You can use honey, yeah. Honey is dope, yeah. I, I use, I've used honey before. But I, I use lemon and lime for a lot. Depend on, it's depending on what you're making. Man, on what like me making. for my sea moss, I put honey in it and yeah, make it last a little bit longer too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So depending on what you're making. And I put lemon mm. or lime in my sea moss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, for that reason too, to make it last a little bit like longer. Yeah. We do got a lot going on with that. Yes. What is what happening? They, what the fuck exactly. is going on? <laughs> We're chaotic. <laughs> Look chaotic, we have to that's okay. Right now. <laughs> that's the devil. Like, no, don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Right, right. <laughs>